God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier. <laughs> we back! Oh, the lazy! Oh, it's good to see you guys again. Uh, I really missed you guys. Miss you. Good to be back. It's good, it's good to, be, to back. be back. It's been a long time. It's been three weeks, two weeks, Four, three weeks. Three weeks. Remember? Gone. Remember? We, when we were in in London together, I I do remember when awesome. we were at Stonehenge. That was cool. Yes. Google Maps just sent me my. This is uh, a recap of your trip, and it was like it looked like the most fabulous you, trip. It was London, really Bath, Oxford, uh, <laughs> Paris. I was like, oh yeah, man, it looks like I had a good time. Uh, oh yeah, because I yeah, did. I was Paris. Uh, yeah. Paris was. Um, it was Paris, uh, you know. Um, fiery but I, mostly peaceful. Fiery <laughs> yeah, but mostly. Say that. No, it, 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 the place <laughs> oh I my went. God. Uh, Melissa got us a hotel in the bougie part, right near nice. uh, the Eiffel Tower, so we weren't in some no go zone. So it was okay. very nice. Good. We ate on the street in a, outside in a restaurant. The food was magnificent. The street food was. Did you get we, some cheeses? No, I got crepes and hot dogs, and that was oh. the best food there. Their hot dogs were freaking awesome. But oh, okay. uh, mm. it was nice. I, I would have liked it more when I was 30, when I was more into like cities. And it's like, oh, look at this vibrant city. I was yeah. old man Gary walking around going, <laughs> F this. The trains are kind of a pain in the ass. The traffic it's looks too terrible. Loud. It's too it loud. <laughs> <laughs> what was weird? Maybe you could explain this to me, Adam. Mm. They partied like it was 1999 on a Thursday, but Friday yeah. was dead quiet. It was like, what? So do they have longer weekends there? I mean, I, I don't understand that at all. I, I, honestly, all of Europe, there there's a point where everyone's like, uh, okay, it's time everyone goes to bed at the same time. And all the stores just close at like 6 p.m. That's so I, weird. And th this is Europe wide. I, I don't understand it. Even on the weekends, it's just like, okay, yep, time to go. We're, we're all going we're to done. sleep at the same. Yep, okay. Yep. He's got out. weird times. That yeah. was weird. That was weird, yeah. but uh, got to see the Louvre, and uh, it Dope. was uh, it was it was rad. Everything about this was rad. The only bummer was Stonehenge, which we'll talk about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! But we're glad. I'm so glad to be back with the show, dude. Like uh, oh, yeah. everybody, mm -hmm. believe me, the most emails, the most contact is when is Forbidden Frontier coming back? And I was like, this I get questions right now every day, even today. Are we doing a show? Are you doing a show? Are you doing yes. a show? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I many guess. things happened. So yeah. many things happened. Too aliens, many, I, bro. I know aliens. I I have to add that meetup. It was my first meetup that I had ever been to. Uh, and thank you for putting that on and bringing me along with it. And I, it was such a refreshing change of pace by hearing most people come up to me and say, "I love Forbidden Frontier. I love you on Forbidden Frontier." Keep doing that show. It's fantastic. Yep. It was more of that and less of I know you from the other show. Uh, yeah. And it, yeah. that was that was so fantastic. Though. So New thanks rep. for all those. Everyone yeah, it was so out cool. there that came up to me for that. 
Thanks for Bottle coming. Bottle up for the show. I can't believe the other place didn't do something like that before, you know? Uh, oh, yeah. But, uh, like, the meetups are... You From know, aliens? We, we've got we've gotten them too. By the way, we've gotten them at our events and our venues. And uh, Jeremy talked about this before. We we have security. We have uh, undercover security there. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't. I wasn't worried about it in London because there's no guns. But um, they get in the America. Knives, man. In hey, America, I got, I got sexually assaulted. I'm so, I said I was sorry. I said I was sorry. Okay. Yeah. No, someone Jeez. someone legitimately smacked me in the ass. They like, oh yeah. Oh, I know. Like, oh, that yeah. happens to me every Vegas trip. So yeah, well, no, yeah. Yeah, well, you also are, need to be, you know, poured into cabs in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, you roofed yourself. That was last in Vegas. year. Okay. You you roofed you roofed yourself. X-ray. Oh, I know the shot queen. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're pretty saucy too. I'm just saying. Yeah, so was Garrett. So was Garrett. No one asked me who slapped me on the ass, X ray. Oh, it wasn't uh, me. It was an X ray. No. And she put up her hands like, these are the weapons I used. Yeah. No, it was Mark. Mark did it. No, yes. I'm just kidding. It wasn't Mark. It was his leg. What? what? It was his leg. That's well, right. Wow, that leg gets around. It does. Uh, the meetups are fantastic. I'm glad you got to see one, Adam, and see the uh, oh, yeah. our fellow members of the audience and see how fucking cool they are. And uh, it makes this job so much better. That's why I love doing. That's why we did so many this year. We still got one to go. Can we, can oh, we say what? Oh, can we say the oh. date yet? Uh, oh. it or where? will be. Or it's I don't pretty know soon. The place, but if you're Wisconsin? if you guys are ready, we can. Wisconsin. Yeah. Yep. November sixteenth, I believe. Yep. Yo, Thursday, that's the Midwest. Sixteen for the first time. Yeah, Gary so will be there. Where in Wisconsin? Madison. You gonna be there, X-ray girl? I'm driving. You're gonna down. be there. Mrs. Yes, Neurotic be will be there. The venue. No, I won't. Maybe we can talk. Like you know, I know Tom from Midnight's Edge is in the vicinity. Maybe we can drag his oh. butt there and get some uh, other Wisconsinites out there or if you're in the region yeah. so uh yeah uh, we'll get you more details on twitter on that i know we've been asked about that so mm -hmm. i'm also mm -hmm. going to be heading to uh there's a conference in palm springs with graham hancock and jimmy that i wasn't going to mm -hmm. go to i changed my mind because jimmy's been savage on twitter which yeah. is we're going to go over <laughs> we will we're going to go will. over jimmy from <laughs> bright insight is has been savage on twitter and it's been glorious like Jimmy after also, dark all the time. <laughs> our, our boy Luke Caverns, like, came Ooh. out with a story that was unbelievable that we're going to talk about. That's like, yep. so we're going to start with uh, a new discovery. It's it a brand like new discovery, he broke, and he it broke flips story. everything on its head. That's why I love following him because he's like right on that edge, yep. and it's it's great. So uh, hail Luke, good job on that, uh, Garrett. Hi, hey, what's going on, man? So many things have happened in the last four to. Five weeks that we haven't been doing this show. Uh, Mexico came out and said they have some bodies, mm. some aliens. A little skeptical on that. Uh, looks like a overcooked bacon, but we'll see. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, just so many things. I'm ready to talk about it. I love the show. Glad we're back. Awesome. Adam Krigler. I'm here. And here. I... I loved being in London. I being in front of the Rosetta Stone was really huge. That was I, cool. We, we, we stopped by the the British Museum, and I didn't know the Rosetta Stone was there. And it's it's interesting, and it's a conversation unto itself about how many people think that Britain should return all the things that they conquered. Because going through London, going to we what we're walking through Windsor, and everything has a plaque like proudly stolen from this civilization, yeah. and, and like it's like an <laughs> underlying theme with everything in London and the British museum is basically just trophies. Uh, but the Rosetta stone, it was so cool to see that I've heard about it my entire life. And I love Egypt and ancient civilizations. And that was such a, a cornerstone, no pun intended, but um, like connecting us to understanding the Egyptian lore and the hieroglyphs because of the, the Greek language that they were able to, to, transcribe it and it's freaking cool so that that was definitely fantastic but it's good to be back home uh, the weather has been absolutely fantastic i was walking i actually i got lost for the first time in my forest today whoa i got lo I got lost and nice That's scary but in getting lost i found the biggest boulder that i have ever seen in my life and it was so big that i climbed to the top of it and i was at the treetops 
So I was sitting in the sunshine, surrounded by in the center of my forest, surrounded by trees. I felt like I had conquered like a mountain and it was in some Zen zone. Uh, it Makes was... you wonder how I got there. Awesome. You ever been to Yosemite? Well, yeah. Glaciers. Yeah. You ever been to Yosemite? I, I haven't. No, I oh. haven't. No. You want to really see a wanna big go. ass boulder? <laughs> Dude, sure. Half dome. Uh, half dome. That's a oh, big yeah, boulder. Okay. I've <laughs> yeah, seen images dome. of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was awesome. Glacial erratics, maybe that probably is in uh, in where you are in your your. Region. No, it is. Yeah, a yeah. glacier came from the right through here and dropped all of their boulders, basically all around my house. I I have some on my property, so technically I I own some massive boulders. You own some boulders. I, I do. I they're mine. I can name them. <laughs> you gonna go out and get collect some boulders? Go slap them. <laughs> I'll name one quarter black after Gary. Okay. Hey, nice. Aw, in memory of uh, London. Yeah. I thought you were saying memory of me. Our, Good goodness. Of our, our, of our sharing a hotel room. Yes. Yeah. Shared memory. Mm -hmm. Separate separate Dude. beds. S no, they, separate beds. They, they, were cu say. they were cuddled and they got the I had nice a tiny hotel one in the closet. Room. What, you know what? Oh, we found it with we the AC. Oh, oh man. that AC. What a good was pick. So good. You know what sucks? Wait, what? Is, you guys didn't have AC? What? No. Oh. But we found a better hotel with AC that we're going to, mm. next time we go, we're going to stay at this hotel because it's, <laughs> it's good. Awesome. I know. Garrett, I mean, we we were fine. I, mean, I, I think it was totally fine. Yeah. It was, it was, brutal. Brutal. It was brutal. It was freaking brutal. <laughs> we were all at the same hotel, by the way. So we it's were. not yeah. like different yeah, hotels. Somehow. Same hotel. Me and Garrett were the only ones with the uh, mm -hmm. air conditioning. Yeah. Uh, speaking of air conditioning, I see uh, X Ray Girl has her toque on. Is it cold? Yes. It's it's starting right, to get cold. Tukes. It's like yeah. ten degrees Celsius, so whatever that is in Fahrenheit. I don't know, like well, that's chilly. Sixty. That's like um, yeah, that's like sixty. Hey, we had a yeah. cold front here in uh, Texas today. It was only one hundred and seven. Oh, oh. oh wow! <laughs> that was one hundred and ten. Dropping down. <laughs> Basically <Nice>. winter. <laughs> yeah, I I I'd put on a jacket. Uh, uh, for those who are asking, this is a Tim Biebs hat. So Tim Hortons, our coffee place, and of course Bieber, our apparent national treasure. But I really just like the hat. So. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. Um, I'm so glad to have met everyone officially on this panel. I actually didn't think I was going to meet Adam so early on in like life. I thought it was going to be like a couple years down the road when we eventually go to Europe to do one of yeah. these things. It happened a lot sooner, yeah. so I'm happy. Yeah, really quick, actually. The, the you guys cool. are all a lot shorter than I expected. Oh, my God. Yeah. I was actually well, shocked how tall you were. <laughs> well, he's a model. He's regular. He's yeah. regular. Okay, don't be acting like he's a big No, no. Man. He's no, regular. No, Garrett. I'm above average. Sorry, bud. No. Mm, yeah, I'm no. sure pretty, your mom told Pretty you. normal. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting you don't say that after a it, wait oh no. son you're Damn, above dude. average <laughs> wow son you're the one who took it there uh, i was just good you got your father's height. jeans okay <laughs> oh my god <laughs> sorry <laughs> shame on me Woo. my mother could be watching right now sorry if you mom, are probably happy is. birthday happy birthday mom it's her birthday today, so it's her birthday happy, today if, if you're watching happy, happy birthday, birthday mom happy, happy birthday, birthday mom birthday. it's my wife's birthday today so they share birthdays happy birthday oh, quarter you. quarter black wife thank you that, that works right i'll take it yeah <laughs> It, the best thing about it is like we, we there was no like awkward when we started hanging out because you know i'd never met adam in person and i never met shad in person right. we just it, it was nothing awkward about yeah. it we just hung out and we were knuckleheads and it was great so <laughs> yeah fantastic that's fantastic dude Shad's, oh my gosh oh, he's, really he's, guy. Best. he's the best <laughs> shad is oh, yeah. a ball of energy that uh is absolutely brilliant and uh, disbrew that was Dis cool yeah. that disbrew. See a disbrew drinker Drinker, every, everybody. Yeah. Man, it was really great to have Shad when we were going through uh, like the Tower of London oh, and yeah. and Windsor and stuff like that. Uh, well, he wasn't with us in Windsor, was he? No, no. no. Um, but it was great because he he's like the best. He was at the Wallace he a, collection. He was a better tour guide. He's a better tour guide than you can yeah, ask for because he was like super into all this stuff and just explaining yeah. the different the differences between the armors and the and the swords and it was so it was so cool perfect see yeah, him get so like, excited about it was like yeah. enlightening he was like there doing a video just for us it was so cool mm -hmm. guards actually kept coming up to him and say sir you need to put that sword away and he was like oh, that's no sword <laughs> sword that's oh no God. sword i that's can't not a sword <laughs> 
Sorry. All right. Uh, this is a very serious show. <laughs> yes. By the way. Absolutely. Very serious time. So, mm, serious. Uh, real quick, we got to cover those birthdays. So, uh, yeah. uh, Steph, my nerdy home was yesterday. So, happy birthday. Happy birthday, uh, Steph. Happy birthday, Steph. Garrett, your daughter. My daughter's was four days ago. Four days ago. Happy birthday. Happy uh, birthday. Adam's Child. mom is today. Robin. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And my son's uh, is in three days. So happy birthday. <gasps> happy birthday. And happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's he watches the show, right? So, yeah. Happy birthday, bud. Yeah. And it was mm-hmm. also recently uh, Bilbo and Frodo's birthday. So hey. there's that. There's so many birthdays. Yeah. Lots of birthdays in September. Uh, so w- let's start out with, uh, I guess, the bullshit, which is uh, spoilers. <laughs> it's bullshit. Oh, uh, man, you're supposed to lead up to that. I'm supposed man. to lead up. Oh, the totally oh, yeah. believable aliens that were trotted out, I think, on the same right day. When, that, right when Hunter Biden was yeah. getting yeah, indicted. Mis- mysteriously. And, when Hunty was getting indicted, it's, yeah. we all of a sudden get aliens. Hey, I mean... Biden. Whatever brings out the truth. Maybe the next time when he actually gets like arrested and taken to prison, uh, they'll bring some aliens to the White House lawn or something well, like that. They'll Zorbu roll the, the spacecraft out. Yeah. This is actually so, uh, the Wolf descendant screen. or the ancestor of Zorbu. Oh, long lost. Zor- Zordon, I think, uh, is yeah. the uh, pronunciation. That's Power Rangers, but yeah. Oh, sorry. So they're- Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of looks like him a little bit. He's a little okay. It reminds little dusty me of too. the mummies, the the whole Gaia incident, right? Uh, that caused a lot of problems within the UFO community. Uh, Gaia uh, is a network that you can see on Amazon. I actually do subscribe to them, but um, they're the ones who put on contact in the desert. But they really tried to push this this mummy thing uh, a few years ago. And it was all bullshit. And it did cause some rifts with certain people who are no longer allowed at Gaia events. Mm. Uh, probably won't be allowed on Ancient Aliens anymore. Uh, Mike Barra. Mike, we love you, Mike. Mike Barra is awesome, by the way. I want to get him on the show. Good dude. Uh, but he was calling so what, bullshit so out. So he's calling it out. He's he like, was calling it out, yeah. Good. He, well, he's also kind of based and he called a lot of shit out. I think it's good to <laughs> call stuff trouble. out when it it, yeah. it is it does look like charlotte tree because in this field there is a lot of that there's a lot because it's on that edge there's a lot of things that are hard to believe uh you know because they're they're not normal right so when you do have something that is like clearly not real it's yeah. good to call that out because you gotta you gotta keep it real otherwise then nobody will believe you when something actually happens no, the boy who is- cried wolf this is such a, an impossible field to be like uh, a full blown like UF, ufologist. Um, they have the hardest time because if you're a serious person like Richard Dolan, you know you're always fighting against shit like this, right? Yeah. You're just like, God damn it, you yeah. know. Oh, and I'm uh, sure they feel that way because this this the person who brought this to the Mexican government, uh, Jamie Mauson, I believe his name is. He's been caught with different hoaxes throughout the years, going back. Oh hi- uh, yeah, yeah, like, yes, like he has. So oh, this this isn't the first time. If it is proven to be a hoax, it wouldn't be the first time, and it's probably not going to be the last time. Uh, they probably rolled them out because they're like, oh, we need a distraction, like ASAP. Go ahead and roll, yeah. roll those alien bodies out. You know, and I'd love for this to be real, but like the first time I saw him, it's just like, no. <laughs> yeah, no. they they pull the two of them out in those little baby caskets, and they're like, and they're just <laughs> yeah. a little dusty. I. Little dusty bodies. I'm like, yeah, that looks like paper mache. I'm sorry, but they the did. They did times, say that there's scans of the of the oh man bones the in there. Times that I see the mm-hmm. different scientists holding them and like, look at this, and then you can like, if you take it and pick it up and like, if these were alien, they wouldn't bodies, do that. They, they would crumble. Do that. You you would not be holding them and picking them up. Like I've seen them pick them up so many different times. While they were X-raying them, they were like holding them and like pointing and like, mm-hmm. sure, it's in Mexico. Maybe maybe they do that. Kind if of they were really a thousand years old, they would be crumbling. Like you couldn't right. touch them. Like, Eighteen hundred years old. Well, remember some um, sources. Remember the Homo Naledi and how he was placing the bones and how careful he was, like yes. picking up the bones, transferring right. them. That's how that you should be handling them. 
That's a Precisely. bone. This is a whole and, body. And, and that was, well, yeah, right. Yeah. That was bones that was buried for the most, some of them were buried. So right. much better preserved. Um, Brian Forster has found a bunch of the elongated skulls of the Caracas people. And those are insanely old. And you still have to be really, and they're very well preserved to the fact that there's hair and the bone and, and the skull is still intact. But you still have to be like very careful with those. Mm. So, yeah, I think uh, I, it, it I, we got asked about this a lot and um yeah unfortunately i think it's total bullshit so so even though we all think it's bullshit i was looking around earlier and i found a very interesting article coming out of peru because they claim that these are actually peruvian aliens coming from the nazca area mm -hmm. from 1800 years ago now peru has actually come out the peru ministry of culture is coming out claiming that these were stolen. These are these the alien corpses presented in Mexico are stolen mummies from Peru. Now, so like children, not alien, not alien mummies, Peruvian mummies. So uh, with with uh, cradle headboarding, maybe that's why me. there's the longer skull in back. Mm -hmm. So uh, which uh, the, uh, the Caracas people did. Um, so maybe that was it. You know, because there is a, an elongated skull, so they either made it. But if those are real mummies of children, then there might have been the cradle head boarding where you make an elongated skull. Which is a we could do an we should do an entire show on on why ancient people did that and true and and yep. evidence that some people might have been born like that it and it might have been it, an elite class. Yeah, here it is here. Yeah, so is this the no? There, Jaime's on the left. Jaime is oh, okay. Uh, okay, is uh, been known to be a bit of a shyster. Bit of a shyster. Yeah, yeah, I don't trust. I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. I mean, I don't even you... trust this uh, Peruvian thing claiming that they're they're, you know, ancient Peruvian. Yeah, because again, it goes back to they they would just be so brittle. Right. And they they're like handling them with their hands. It's just it's yeah. strange. And they just don't I don't know. They just don't look why what's up with all the dust? Why would they like dust them? To so make it the, look the, old. The, the leading <laughs> voice from that ministry claimed that uh these alleged alien bodies are mummies that were stolen from one of the sites in the country. There has been an open investigation and charges against Malsan's team. Uh, that's Jamie Mousen, the guy who has been caught before for these hoaxes uh, for the theft of these Nazca mummies. So they're claiming that they're they're mummies from the Nazca region. Yeah, read that right there. So they don't look like humans to me, but at the same time, they could have been altered to look like mummies. They could have been children. Yeah, that they could have been altered. Mm -hmm. that yeah. Then they, they changed it and like, oh, we x-rayed it and the bones look like they're they were actually connected not like they were put together like they claim and it's like okay well if it was a human that was altered uh that looks like a humanoid that that looks like a child yeah. not the face obviously but the same guy jamie was uh they he took uh, the last thing that he was caught in he took a dog carcass and shaved like the the, the nose the snout oh. off yeah. So it was just like the back of the skull and then created a, a face. So he's done it before, right? So I see this and it's like, all right, that, that could have been a child mummy. Maybe it is 1,800 years old. Uh, very tiny. I mean, the guy holds it in his hand and it's maybe two feet that. tall. Yeah. yeah, really tiny, right? I mean, maybe it was like a, a two-year-old, right? That was mummified. And then they altered it to have you know three fingers yeah this guy i don't trust this him guy. look <laughs> look at this they're just holding it straight up they're they're literally just holding it like this like that is so dangerous if this is actually worth like if this is a real alien like that's why i feel like me. i feel like there's a TikTok going around on on uh that floating around on Twitter of, of like the ancestor that's dancing. You guys know what I'm talking about? That yep, girl? Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh. She's like dancing. Mm -hmm. 
Direct yeah. descendant, just, dude, I swear. It just looks handmade. It looks like somebody it, made it. I think it, it looks is. like oh. paper mache kind of like it's too square. It's just yeah. yeah. And they say there's Ridiculous. like eggs in his belly. Yeah. How do eggs become solid where it's that black when an X-ray goes through it? Like, and the, the pelvis here th that doesn't look like any normal pelvis. It's missing. Well, it's just like a bone. That's just, just two up jutting a, bones. Up against it, yeah. And like uh, most animals, uh, humans, dogs, cats that I've seen x-rays of, they all share very similar pelvic bones, which is wild to think. And like they have the exact same pelvis as we do. It just might be a little skinnier or whatnot. And this is, this is a dog x-ray. And that looks vastly different from, of course, the right. alien x-ray. They actually connect the bones and they look like they work together yeah. as a joint. They're not just a bone and then a pelvis just kind it's of. It's like, it look, it's not even connected. There, yeah. And what is this line inside the bone? That means that there's something holding it together, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like that a rod some... that's kind of connecting it. Yeah. And look at the fingers. Like, that's not how, like. They look like they're know. all stuck together. There's no joints in them. But that's just on first analysis for me. I haven't seen all, of course, all the scans. So now, look, they, I don't they, trust they, the they, American government, and I and I don't trust the Mexican government even more. Well, you can just <laughs> if government. that's possible. You mean the I, cartel? I, I trust yeah. them even less. Right. I would trust so, the cartel probably more than the Mexican government, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, it's like, it's redundant, so, they're the same. So, in different articles, there's been discussions of that it's the DNA from this is no DNA that we've ever, they've ever seen. Now, it's only Allegedly. from one, yeah, exactly. Yeah, does paper mache from, have DNA? It's from one, <laughs> one place that has sequenced the DNA, right? Yeah. They're not giving the DNA to anyone else. They're not sharing this data. Like when the moon came, you know, moon rocks, everyone got a piece of it to like an analyze it and see. Yeah. Whereas like here, they're not sharing this DNA. Well, why? Like well, you would think like we've got an alien. Let's present this alien. All right. Well, here's here's the DNA. Look, look how different it is. Let's prove that it's not an alien mm. or that it is an alien. In fact, uh, this they're, lack not of transparency. they're not doing that. Yeah, they're not sharing anything. It's like, man, mm -hmm. bullshit. It, it just seemed like did... like America was doing UFO hearings, and then Mexico was like, "Hey, we should do a UFO hearing." Do you, anybody have that guy's number that that presented that mummy before? Could do our own again, right? They Sad. just wanted to one up us. <laughs> yeah, they're like, Maybe. "We got bodies." <laughs> The chiclet oh. aliens. I, I yeah, it, it's uh, it's it's frustrating. It's so frustrating because that was like that uh, any kind of belief we had and that gets in the public perception and it knocks things down a notch it just does yeah it's like oh uh, well any progress that was made is gone um and you know it like we've said before we're not going to get any truth from the government it's going to have to be some person getting some outstanding like just uh, one of these days a a ufo needs to land in front of a freaking car and, and the, the guy just gets video of it somebody gets video of it uh and right. then that's still not going to satisfy everybody but uh, i put up some footage uh i don't know if it's real or not but i put it in ff research of some you know because yeah. i follow ufo twitter i follow ufo twitter i and saw some, that yeah uh, I don't I believe this one. I am looks skeptical. Looks like a paper bag to me, dude. It could it, be because I wanted to see the rest of it. We always, that's the thing I'm always, I always suspect is how come we don't see the whole effing video? I want to see because you I'm know what? I'm going to post the rest of it when I can get a good, you know, a good yeah. upload of Here's it. Here's what I like, want to see because the, the stuff that's convincing is when you see that little UFO just go pew take off yes do okay. it, it move in a direction that is not normal like this could be a drone it could be an oddly shaped drone like the you you can go to hobby stores and buy the stuff for drones and then put whatever you I've want seen on it like footage like this guys where, and stuff where the ufo just does take off at the end and you go okay that's right it just this never made a movement that wasn't natural well it goes on its side right it does it kind of goes like that 
but that could be a balloon. But I'm I'm expecting something like this, or like around, like very zigzaggy. It just kind of moves. That looks kind of like the thing I saw though. But when I saw that thing, I was going on a freeway and I couldn't whip out my phone and video of it, video it, and it and it the thing I saw had the sun gleaming off of it. You saw the, yeah. a, ref, a clear reflection on the sun, and I thought it kind of looked like a helicopter at first. I'm like, oh, helicopters can't do that. You know what that looks like to me? It looks like one of those balloons, balloons. that you get that says like, "Your congrats, it's your birthday, like happy <laughs> yeah, birthday," yeah. and it's like mylar a mylar balloon. And it's slowly deflating, and it's like it still floats. So, but it's not going like shooting up into the sky. Right. It just kind of reaches max height, and, like, and then it's right, just kind of going summer. with the wind. Like, oh, this is my life now. Like, that's it. That's that's what we're looking at. Well, I need to. Yeah, I need to see the whole thing that she supposedly had, and then didn't know how to post it anywhere or something. I, I kept like, looking. On. I kept looking for yep. her to post it, and it's like, when are you gonna? Are you gonna post it? Uh, when are you gonna post it? Uh, yeah, it's a red balloon. It's a red yeah. balloon. Uh, so, yeah, the Mexican aliens bullshit. Uh, we went to Stonehenge, and we got to spend uh, how long there? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen <laughs> minutes, maybe even less. Garrett and I got twenty minutes, but we yes. had to pay for it. And, yeah. And so, uh, even though we had signed up all together. And we put in the notes that we were a, a party together. They separated us all out. So it was me, yeah. Adam, X-Ray, Mark, Gary, and Melissa. And we're all separated on different buses. So we got Green there at different times. That morning. Oh, and uh, there was someone else that was supposed to be there. Another couple. Right. They canceled on them the, the night before. Oh, in an yeah. email. I and so already off so, to a horrible start at the beginning. Wasn't great. We got there. And then yeah. we got off of the, the coaches, walked down to the shuttle, and then we sat in the line for the shuttle. Wait, for so how long? Right, right before we actually got in the line. We had no idea how long it was going to take. I'm going to let, let him continue. Our mm -hmm. tour guide said, all right, you guys have an hour and 20 minutes to be back before we leave. All right, so we all had that in our head. We got yeah. an hour and 20 minutes. All right, go. Get in the line. Time. And we were also different times, too. Right. Which so sucks. it was just it was just me and Adam there. We got there first. Sat yeah. in the line for 35 minutes? 35 45. minutes. 35 you to 40 minutes 45 like minutes for real. For you? Mhm. Mm so what they and did then the was, shuttle got there. Here's the pisser. All the buses arrived at the same time. They didn't stagger it. So that's what yeah. made the lines long. If they would have staggered right. it, we all would have gotten had had plenty of time, but cuz because yeah, we sat in these lines. By the way, Mark with one leg had to stand yeah. in a line for 40 minutes, which yeah. was some bullshit. We, we did ask too. I was like, and hey, we, is yeah. there a bench he can sit on? And I'll like, we'll still stay in line. And the lady said, no, and this is the staff at Stonehenge. The, we got to the front of the line. There was, there was a bench. There was a bench. There's a bench. There's a bench. <laughs> so not, not the best no experience so with the we with got the out there we got to see it uh there. didn't get to walk around it which sucks because if you guys would have done that you'd have been amazed it, it was still cool to be there for 15 minutes but yeah like, i have a little video sure show yeah. it once we got sure, back video. Yeah, there was no lines all the lines like you could have gotten gone. right on the shuttle they were gone. all gone and, I was and we like, were all late and we were all yeah. late me well, and Garrett, you, we, you we were that. like a minute away from being left there yeah. Which might have been better. Might have been better. Honestly, I think we would have just turned around and went back to Stonehenge. <laughs> we really. would have, yeah. All right, I have a I have a little video I put together of some of the oh. footage I got. Ooh, I didn't I haven't seen this. Sheep. I remember standing next to them. Them sheep. They're so cute. Wait, can we pause it for a moment? The sheep, we were told that they cut the grass because they're not allowed to cut the grass. Yes, the they sheep cut the job. grass. They trim it down. If, if you watch they Clarkson's job, farm, uh, he got some sheep to cut the grass and they also fertilize it. It was yeah. really cool. Like, that's really cool. I should get it. Maybe, sheep. Adam, you should, you should get some sheep for your... Get a couple sheep? Yeah. It can help keep that your place good. warm, too, if you want. Interesting. I might poop everywhere, but... It's fertilization. Poop. Everything poops. <laughs> Is warm. You can already tell it's not gonna really uh, read on camera. Look how big these are. I want to stay next to 
So that's how far you can you get to stand. Can't get any closer. Something that was built on whales. Think about the isostatic circle, the depression. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that theory. Mm -hmm. So looking at these stones, I got the impression, especially here too, because like Garrett pointed this out. Right in the this, this stone, stone is crazy. Uh, go ahead, you know what you you pointed out. I don't want to. Like, so we were we were standing there. there, and this one was on on the side that you you kind of arrive on, and it, I mean, you can see it right here. It looks like there is a stone inside of a stone that melted on top of it or was eroded away from it, but it, mm -hmm. they look like two separate stones, and the one on the inside looks like a very geometric shape. Yep, really, very, and it was very, very really clean and flat. Yeah. Now, very there, odd for I, its time. I've watched many different documentaries on Stonehenge, and uh, everyone says that they were cut on site. And the only evidence that I've seen as of that is they, they there was a lot of moles in this area, and when moles would kick dirt out, there's like little flecks of the same type of stone, right? And they would they they ex excavate some of the surface level of the dirt. And they found a lot of like flakes of this stuff. They they have found some hand tools, like some rocks that would be used as like pounding stone. That they're now convinced that that's how they did all of this. That they they hand did all of these things. And so they, they took the the stones from whales from whales, full right. full stone. I mean, I just, maybe they were not that specific no size, but way. they moved them no and way. then then they chiseled them down. Now, they didn't have the wheel at the time. There is an interesting theory about ancient um, British stones, stone balls. No, our, our, our guy tried to tell us that they dug trenches and used pig fat to, to push no. them. Oh, like, and, and that wood. Is that is, that like, is roll it on. You know what's more believable? Merlin came out and levitated <laughs> all the fucking stones. <laughs> That's more believable than pig fat. I don't think they cut these, dude. I think that they found them and were no, like, we can I use these. Found them I already think, cut. I think uh, I think Stonehenge is like 10,000 years old, not 5,000 years old. I think it's probably okay. right around the time of Gobekli Tepe. Uh, and, uh, that is believable. Yeah, I, they, because they, they, it's so similar to the old, much older stuff. If you go to the Osirian in, uh, in Egypt, there's stones like that. There's the tr uh, the the trilithons. So you get those little trill. That's the the stone, the two stones with something on the top to the right there, right? Yeah. The trilithon. Yeah. So there's trilithon. Yeah. For one, our guide is an idiot because he said this is the only place where you can find trilithons. It's like, uh, no, dude. That is uh -uh. untrue. <laughs> fucking all over the place, uh, and and they're all supposed to be around the same age, but it's also the same age where civilization like just prior to civilization popping up so i think they're way older yes Balbeck really has has up. trilithons yeah. um they're really and, cool you could see that they have these nubs on the top like of other each, nubs of each too. pillar there's a nub on the top and they sink into like there's a there's a cavity on the on the uh lintel and where else do you see they these pop nubs? right on you see these nubs everywhere. on the pyramids everywhere, man. You see them yeah, in mm -hmm. in Peru. Everywhere. You see them in uh, all over South America. You see them in Indonesia. They're everywhere. I Nothing have a feeling everywhere. if you were to, I, not saying to do this, but where we're seeing these, like you could see one right in the center of the screen. There's a nub at the very top, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. But there isn't yep. a stone near it that would have a, a cap to connect. But I have so a feeling must... if we were to dig them up and look at the other side, there'd be a nub. Yeah. Some oh. of I do believe some of Stonehenge is put back together, like it was in much worse shape. Yeah, when they found like it. the no 1908 they, or something. Yeah, they did they, a huge they, renovation. Yeah, yeah, they set them back up to what they believed what how they, they believed. were originally done. Yeah, we're which could so be sure. correct. <laughs> I also saw a really interesting theory that it is a uh, burial site slash um, ceremonial site. There was a, and I don't know if it was a site. It wasn't a scientist. It was more of a religious leader that came from Madagascar, actually, because um, a lot of ancient Madagascan uh, ritual 
uh, involve stone stone to them is is like for the ancients and then they use all living materials uh, they don't like to use stone for their buildings and whatnot so if they use stone it's to uh for the dead like the dead are the like their mm. um ceremonies for the dead is all used stone buildings for that kind of stuff so when they visited stonehenge uh they were the this priest or whatever from madagascar was like this is absolutely a, a what i would have built if i was able to and it turns out they they did find bodies here uh in fact they reburied oh. the bodies because they felt bad that they dug them up um in like 19 i think 1930s or something like that they actually reburied a bunch of bodies and now they're they're actually digging them back up again because they're like well this now they're is not gonna really study them yeah, now they're yeah, going to well, study since when, does, like, since when does the UK feel bad about shit? We we walked we walked by right. a, a every mu museum. <laughs> uh, we'll I'll show a picture of the mummy of uh, the dead body. The one that's dead? Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 That we walked by in the Like everyone look at this dead body that we found. Like, wow. Mm -hmm. Look at this that's, jewel we were That is why I want to when I die. <laughs> I want my body thrown into a ravine so in 100,000 years Zorbu could come back and be like, "Look, there he is, right there." We got some there, DNA, and I'm and like, he, "This." We got some DNA, and he's actually <laughs> a little over a quarter black. But hey, hey. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Imagine <laughs> you can now say ER. Yeah. Sorry, it was, no, uh, no, the sorry, Happy Plague Doctor says it was rebuilt in fifty. Out of the A. 58. Hard R? Uh, Never mind. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I get a little bit. That's so allowed. funny. My 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 wife was talking about the the French language with with carrie and uh my wife's like yeah they don't use the hard r in french in france in france and i'm like oh they don't really <laughs> like ever no, they don't. <laughs> anywhere okay on yeah. anything oh wow i'm gonna finish the video yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like yeah that's weird there's an inside stone that stone they like no. let it melt over it does look so strange so I do wonder if it's made of different types of stone. Right? It looks well, like there is some repair work. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was rocking my Captain America shirt. Nice. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's where they came from. The music yeah. was a good addition. And then the I loved it. I loved it. Um, they, they, my guide was saying that they do a solstice party there, uh, for the summer and the winter. Obviously, the summer is busier because no one wants to go to the UK in the winter, uh, allegedly. And I wonder if for that, yeah. if they let people go up close, they do. The, yeah. So if you're part of a tourist here. package of megalithomania, if you join there, I think because they do something there during the solstice that you can go inside. With all the and he has connections because he lives like right there, uh, so, like yeah. he can see them from his house. Basically, he was he was saying. So, I'd love to get a little closer, see some of those stones, see that one stone where it was. It looked like, like two different two types next, of stones. Next time we go back, like, we're fused gonna do, together. So what we did when we visited Tolkien's grave, which was great, um, is Melissa just got a car. We just rented our own private oh, car yeah. for the day. That's yeah, it was so and, much better, uh, and it was so much better. So yeah. much better. We could we could sleep. We could no, if we wanted to live stream in the car, which we didn't, we could. But we you know, true. our driver true. was awesome. Like mm -hmm. just, uh, he figured everything. It all looked insane. It's like, where are you going to park? He's like, I got this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Take just let time. me know a time, and I'll come back at that time. And so I mean, a little expensive, but dope. like worth for the experience absolutely worth it and the, the leisure because yeah. like if we had to drive after our long hot day i, we would, I would I much know. rather drive in the uk trying to figure out the your wacky system of being Round on the wrong side of the road stuff. than driving in france which drove on the right side of the road but like utterly insane Utterly Are they just insane. driving crazy fast? Oh my god! Did you god. drive down there, no, or did you take a train down? I took. Uh, we took the Eurostar over, and then hopped okay. on a cab. And the cab driver was cool, but wow! Was it, it was aggressive <laughs> the driving, eh? Yeah. The Eurostar really disappointing. Oh yeah. my! Yeah, it's just a train. You know, I thought it would be like going through the 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 channel or whatever it was. It's like yeah, 
you can't say you can't say anything can't yeah. and you get into, you get into france and it's nice it's nice you should have put a glass top on it yeah so you could see that the water really cool. you know, something yeah. Yeah. french traffic is carnage it is it, it's 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 a little third world <laughs> okay it's, it's great a, try it, driving through it in a huge rv i've driven in tijuana so, and i think tijuana made more sense than france okay <laughs> <laughs> wow it's better it's Man. better than belgium though what's yeah, wrong with belgium think, uh well i ran into road pirates in belgium Oh yeah, there's ro- such thing as road what? pirates. Yeah, oh, yeah. there is a, though. There's oh, in a lot of countries. Them. In a lot I of countries, I watched them gassing yeah. another RV. I stopped them I, actually from gassing. Do they have eye patches and stuff? People. No, no, but Do this is a real legs? thing. So what they? So I parked in this one spot in Belgium because my wife and I we were traveling around Europe in our RV, and we pulled up and we saw a bunch of shattered glass on the ground, and we we're like, "Oh, that's a bad sign." Like, let's. Yeah. You know, I was like, "I'm going to keep my eyes on this tool," and I saw this other couple and they're like you know probably like 70s right a nice rv they had a little dog in the park and then we you know we're all making food they go into their rv and i see this these freaking two guys i'm like what's that and then uh, i'm cooking my wife's like i those guys are, are look are looking at us and i'm like all right let me let me go look and i they saw us looking at them and so they actually left the area where we were parked because obviously, you're like, oh, these guys are aware of us. We're going to go this other RV. The guy, obviously. And, and I guess what they do is they, because every RV for it to be legal has to have like a a, a venting spot into the, the back cab. So they know that. And you can actually hook up this gas thing to like knock everyone out. So you could just freaking break in, steal everything and then leave. And then people wake up and everything's gone. It's stolen. So, so I watched them Dang, go up Belgium. to this other RV, and it looked like they were prepping to do just that. So I get out of my freaking RV, and there's there was like a 24 hour gas station, and I walked in. And I'm like, hey, uh, uh, sorry, English, whatever. These guys are trying to, to, you know, rob these people. And and as I walked out of the gas station, it was like a scene in a movie where like I walked out, and the the guys were like all mad, like in their car, like looking at me just like mm. and i, I will like, get you a second time like i yeah like, <laughs> like that's right i i you know just yeah, get out of here. not you guys and they <laughs> left gypsies but yeah i think i, I did, saved those people man i yeah there were gypsies in france uh in, oh, the, in the train tons. station yeah. oh my god my yeah. my friends and i well oh stuff stolen from them yeah the gypsies are very sneaky well i mean that's why uh try that shit in an rv in the u.s i would <laughs> No, good point. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. Yeah, I was. I thought you were gonna say in a small town. That, no, yeah. in a small town. No, some seventy-year-old man will break out his <laughs> freaking shotgun and blow your face off. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Oh That's right. That's right. Guns. But, but yeah, but but overall, the roads in Belgium suck. They're the worst roads in all of Europe. France, the roads were fantastic. <laughs> like the condition of the roads. Germany, great. Sweden absolutely has uh, has great roads, but Belgium, yeah. oh my gosh. It's going to be interesting roads. when we start branching out to different sites in different countries and seeing how every True. country runs. Well, yeah, when we start doing our little tours and uh, we're on Which we roads have plans on cliffs. For. Yes, we have plans. Ooh. Hey, you want to pull up uh, Luke Cavern's video? Cause yeah, yeah that's an article. That. This is fantastic, by the way. We just had Luke on the show. We'll have him back. Fantastic guest. He was great. Good dude. Good dude. Homeboy, too. Here in San Antonio. So the biggest archaeological discovery ever may have been made today, and it will forever change the way that we look at ancient civilizations. Traditionally, it's thought that ancient civilization began around 4000 BC with the first wood and thatch homes being built around 8000 BC. Well, archaeologists in Zambia just uncovered a preserved ancient wooden structure carbon dated to be from around 476,000 BC. 
Archaeologists say the size of the wooden logs indicates that they were used in the construction of something substantial in size, and they hope to soon discover what this structure may have been. Similar to the discovery of Gobekli Tepe pushing ancient architecture back to around 9000 BC, this discovery may push the known ability of hominids or ancient humans to build ancient structures back to almost 500,000 BC. <laughs> Holy Imagine no. everything between then and Gobekli Tepe that we are unaware of. I'm Luke Caverns. If you'd like yep. to stay up to date on this discovery and Just learn more about ancient lost civilizations, well, please like and follow for more. Follow Luke. Do it. Absolutely. He has but, a YouTube. But, Go subscribe there, too. Listen to what he said, though. He said something really important. What we thought, right, was we thought that it was about, you know, 4,000 years ago, which we really started getting going, but like 8,000 years ago, thatch and starting to use wood structures to try to build stuff. So look at the scale of to now where we are technologically advanced, what, what we have in 8,000 years. Multiple if, cultures could have risen and fallen in between do, that time. Multiple and, 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 most times. Most, most, important, times. most important, man, uh, a modern man might not have built it. Right. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. What 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 did we just that, see that in, could have in been, South, South Africa? Yep. Right? A whole different hominid species. A whole different hominid species the, could have built that. So I love dude. about this whole field is just watching the new things uncover just in the last year has been yeah. crazy. And and there's still like um Marahan Tepe, they're still excavating most of that. Like they've just got like five percent of it or ten percent of it. And then Gobekli Tepe and then all of the forty eight other locations in that region that they still haven't uncovered yet. It's so fascinating to see this stuff, and it's happening not just in Turkey, but it's happening in Egypt. It's happening in, this, in South oh, America. Good. It's happening all over the place. It's so cool. I so just glad uh, that we're, we don't live in a stagnated world where we figured everything out. Like there's so much more to learn, and I believe it a lot more because um, wood is likelier to be accurately carbon dated than yes. stone. Yes, yes, it's organic. Well, it can it, so, yeah. well more like uh, more it's actual it, carbon? It can. It can be carbon dated because stone can't be. Yeah, no. it's all about and, the mechanics and, and around the, it. The key is, like, and yeah, this isn't this isn't it, it's Luke reporting on like this was this is a team of academic scientists. It hasn't been peer reviewed yet, but they found so this was in Zambia. That this was a wow. large structure, not just like yeah. a little hut, which would still be impressive, which would still. But mm -hmm. this is a much larger structure, Imagine and we'll know more boat. about it. Yeah. Like a long house or some kind but of that like... goes along with Cave of Bones, where we were just talking about this little chimpanzee hominid species that was ritualistically burying their dead with yep. a third of this of our brain size. So they were hominoletti conscious. Homo they they were they had feelings. They could communicate. They could and write tools. symbols and had tools and buried their dead. That's fucking insane. So, uh, as Graham Hancock says, stuff just keeps getting older. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I think you know modern humans aren't even supposed to be weren't supposed to be around five you know half a million years ago, but it it appears they were. I think they're wrong. I think they're wrong. I think they're wrong. What Michael guys, Cremo. What do, you, what do you think it was, guys? Chat. What, what do you think this structure yeah. is? Was it a boat? Was it a a longhouse? A meeting house? A home? A community center? Was it Zorbu? Was it us? Zorbu's. Was it Homo Naledi? Was it a time mm -hmm. traveler who built a log cabin? Okay, that's a little out there, but I'm just going. Hey, man. You okay. never know. You never know. You never he know. knows how to make a sandwich. We, we, we have talked about, at least on Skinwalker Ranch, the idea that it could possibly happen, time travel, space, with Other the dimension. whole Mesa and whatnot. So it's, mm -hmm. who knows? Or are we always just in concurrent time with everything it's not linear it could be just a blob that you can access depending on where you go how you do it how fast you move i don't know how but yeah yeah i miss skinwalker ranch it ended strong it was such a nothing season till the end yeah. and then like it ended pretty strong i was yeah. like mm -hmm. i agree with you they should have fewer episodes they shouldn't fewer have extended episodes. it yeah tighten it up just like yeah. every tighten it up, well, guys. Shows we've seen <laughs> tighten yeah, it, it makes up. me just want to watch the last episode 
of the next yeah, season. Yeah, that's all yeah, you need wait. to really do is just watch the last couple episodes, right? Because right. they recap w- it. They go through, they shoot all exactly. the rockets again. You get to see it. Mm-hmm. They got some crazy rockets feet this time. Above the Mesa. I was, <laughs> I was, I, I was thinking in my head, I was looking at Gary and I'm like, like go on, Gary. Go on. I know you want to <laughs> do, do it, it Gary. Got to get to the bottom of what's going on around You're so here. so good at that accent. <laughs> 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 brings him such joy it does <laughs> oh my goodness. uh so yeah i think that's 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 great i think it's great and uh i'd love to hear what like randall has to say about it and the other guys when they i'm sure graham's already f- heard yeah. about this he's probably freaking out so in a good way season two season two of ancient apocalypse god i can't when wait for is that, that dude. out you guys well, well, filming now. probably next year yeah. probably next uh, year it's too far away well i the thing is, like, there's no post production other than editing, but e- editing reality like c- takes a lot because they probably have uh, out of that ancient apocalypse. Just because I used to do this in, in in Hollywood when I worked there for a brief time, they probably have uh, hundreds of hours of footage. Hundreds. Thousands of hours of footage. They have tons of footage that they got to break down into what eight 45 minute episodes. So that that takes a lot of time, a team of editors, people coordinating, and you know, and they're doing the, VFX work for they, visualizations they yeah. of they some are. things, and which I so, wish yeah. they do more of. I would love yeah. to see a fully VFX ver, a full VFX version of Randall Carlson's version of the flood. I would oh, love yeah. to fucking see that. That sounds uh, rad. That'd be fun for season two. They should get people like Luke Caverns on and like Jimmy Crosetti, and like yeah, they should get a lot of these guys on because they didn't really. Talk to any of them for well, the first while. I guess I get why because they're they're Graham's, a little bit. I mean, no, you Graham's want you want Graham's to, thing, yeah. But like yeah. to bring in the the younger generation, absolutely yes. needs to be done. You know, and yes. Ben, bring in Ben from Uncharted X. Yeah, yep. he's a great presenter. Talk about the pot, the pot man. They might. We, we don't know. Maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe Ben just can't talk about it. You know, maybe this just. I would point. love if they did a full panel talking about just all these different topics and building on everything they know but who knows if we can ever even do that have them all in one space all these bright minds so i ran into a a really interesting thread today that i I want you guys to know about um and i actually tagged jimmy in it and he was like "Ooh, interesting rabbit hole so it's an alternate Mm. theory to what happened during the younger dryas and that it wasn't a meteor impact that that is what melted the ice caps um and this the the person who posted this his name is zach Voorhees. he actually w- worked at google and was the google whistleblower that talked about and exposed them altering their ai to basically they fired turn him. all of google against trump after 2016 happened oh, before you go on yeah. did you know that there was a documentary on netflix prior to the election in 2020 it was early in the year and it was about the whole documentary was about the previous election and how everything was fixed by google and facebook and they yeah uh <laughs> you gotta watch that documentary because it's all it's all like phased I, I, he's, on he's trump. probably yeah. in it it's all phased on fucking trump and and the russians but it was the playbook of what they did the next fucking year it was crazy <laughs> i can't remember the name of that documentary but I'll, I'll oh, find it. Sorry yeah, to gotta, interrupt I you there. So no, was, no, is, that's fine. Is this, is this different theory, Robert Schock's theory of of plasma from the sun? Yeah, it's it's a, it's something to do with that. But also yes. including yeah, this we've heard that. Yeah. Uh, heliospheric current sheet. Have you heard of that? No. no. Okay, let me let me just run this. It's not very long. Uh, so this is from Zach Bory. He says the climate change psyop and the coming micronova event. Okay, and he says, why are the elites driving this climate change nonsense? Because there's something sinister that is actually something lurking in our spiraling galaxy. Oh, An okay. Angel. So, so this isn't the sun. This is the pot, and this has also been. Uh, Randall's talked about this. So, mm. there's the possible of gamma radiation of a gamma burst, like a cloud, or, or or it could have been something that came from the center of our galaxy, or a supernova, something from space, uh, and. Dude, something clearly happened to our, I don't know when, but to our solar system. We have an asteroid yep. field that probably could have been a planet. We have planets on their side. We had planets that were previously probably had atmospheres like uh, Mars. like Venus, Venus. Mars. Mars. Venus. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, there's a giant chunk out of Mars. There's this huge canyon, right? 
but it yeah. looks like it a gets big in the chunk. entire solar system. Yep. Yep. Uh, Sorry. Go. All on. right. So no, that's fine. This is awesome. Uh, the galactic electric current sheet, aka the heliospheric current sheet. I'm just going to read this first a little bit. Uh, so the heliospheric current sheet. Uh, is a surface separating regions of the heliosphere where the interplanetary magnetic field points towards and away from the sun. A small electrical current uh, with a current density of about 10 to the 10th uh, A slash M squared flows within this surface, forming a current sheet confined to this surface. The shape of the current sheet results from influences of the sun, uh, sun's rotating magnetic field on the plasma in the interplanetary medium. The thickness of the current sheet is about 10,000 kilometers near the orbit of of the Earth. Okay, so the sheet is important. It drives the magnetic alignment of the sun, Earth, and all other planets in our solar system. Every stellar body in our solar system is magnetically aligned to this electric current sheet. This sheet ripples out, and sometimes our solar system crosses one of these ripples. And when that happens, it gets biblical. Now, uh, let's talk about what happens to the sun. The back pressures against the stellar collapse in the fusion energy being released, large, and aggregate magnetic forces, small. During pole reversal, this magnetic forces collapse. As a result, the sun collapses, just for a little bit. Uh, collapse means increases in fusion activity, basically is, boom, a micronova. And the last time this happened, well... So much energy was released that it melted the ice and the sea levels rose 500 feet. So this is what I think he's referring to about the Younger Dryas era. Uh, every religion talks about this great flood. Uh, now you know what caused it. Now, obviously, we've talked about this many times on the channel. Mm -hmm. 12,000 years ago, the Younger Dryas event, uh, what actually caused it. We never found meteor crites, we, uh, craters. We've looked up in Greenland. You know, we've, we've seen those little spots. It, it could be, and that's what uh, Randall Carlson talks about. So this is potentially saying that it was just a mass amount of C CMEs coming from the sun that all hit us at the same time, and that's what melted it all. So, it says, uh, and... Uh, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. There's so Robert Schock stuff. talked about, like, a plasma event, like a, like a, like a Carrington event, but, like, much right. worse, where plasma from the sun actually, like, hit Earth, and you would have these giant fucking lightning bolts, and that would cause the vitrification of stone, and it might also cause the same... It might create the same proxies that uh, the, 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 the meteors create. You know, so that the, could... The so the, the, the microspherals... <laughs> The and, melted uh, stairs of um, where is that country? You, you know what I'm talking. There's there's these stairs that look like they were fully flipped formed upside down and, 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 and me melted. Yeah, there. Th you know what I'm talking about. South America. Temple Temple of Hathor. No, no, no there's there's well there's oh probably multiples of it, but like, there's uh, India it melt stone, right? But they think that might have been uh, an airburst. But there mm. there is a lot like there's. If it was plasma, vitrified you know. stone in Egypt, there's tons of it, and they think it's from battles and wars. But they're like, you know, it has to get really hot to melt stone, yeah. And uh, like they didn't really have the hot. technology. So, uh, Robert Robert Shock has written a whole book on this that's on Audible. I will get you the title of it where he talks about it and like his his theory of what ended the Elgar Dryas is, I, I think, is far more frightening than uh, Randall Randall Carlson's, which is bad enough. Right mm. uh, here we go. Shock, Robert Shock, Robert Shock. Right, let me read uh, read this next go bit while you're looking for that. The plasma <laughs> filaments that are expelled from the sun are highly charged. As this wave propagates, it hits the planets. Here's an interesting fact: the Earth happens to be more magnetically conductive than empty space. So what happens when this wave hits Earth? It conducts. Now you look at this. This is. The magnetic flux induce high electric current in all metals like this. This is a way uh, you can bend pipes really easily. You just put them in this uh, conductive uh, coil and it heats it up really well. I mean, so you're saying the, the, with really Earth's magnetic field, it shoots that the, happens. and then that happens that. and it just melted everything at once and just right. Boom. It's such a high electrical uh, current. I mean, like it could be the lightning bolts are hitting or it could be. Yeah just melting everything because of how like look at the guy touches it right right afterwards so it's it's the electricity that's running through the coil 
heating that up and then he could touch wow. this right after even though it got red hot from dang it, you know you see him it, it science it right away so science. shock talked about this in forgotten civilization by the way mm -hmm. it's on audible uh and all the all the um all the uh, all the cave art we see and and uh and art on rocks have these certain like these men in these like it looks like they're they're hold, holding their fists up right 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 and that they have reproduced that in a laboratory with plasma yeah. so a guy has re those they look like they would be symbols in the sky and they probably freak the shit out of everybody watching them so they drew them on rocks uh but there there's an and uh there there's some on easter island there's some here in america uh in the in uh, in the west we can go you can well, actually on our drive out to san diego we can go visit some that look exactly like what they've reproduced in a lab uh here i'll i'll find it yeah, what are yeah. they called i can look for them plasmoid plasm plasma that's men, right we pulled probably. these up that you could probably find them with that uh, okay it says there's no escape from this. There's no underground bunker you can build. The deeper you go underground, the stronger it gets. It's the reset to upstage all other man-made resets. In large micronova events, so much energy is released into the earth that the upper crust has been theorized to break off and float around during this electrical storm. It appears that Antarctica used to be a tropical region, complete with swampy tropical forests. Uh, so is this happening now? Well, according to Sun Weatherman, we are seeing signs of this. Apparently, the sun is expelling more solar wind and the solar system is becoming dustier, uh, which answers the question, why does the sun appear more white now? So that's my two cents. Climate change is real, but it's being driven by a cosmic phenomena. Magnetic reversals cause extinction. Um, and I mean, the poles are shifting. The, the poles are shifting. And faster and faster every year. He goes on to say that the climate change op is is about trying to cover that to maybe keep people from freaking out or I think uh, that I, I think it would be making money. That's what it is. Is, is using something bunkers. that's naturally happening right. to to get more power and more money. They're just True. making everybody afraid of it. It's something that's going to happen. Can't stop it. It's already gonna. So here you have uh, what was produced in a lab. Uh, go to there, the yeah. third picture over on the right. Go to the second. Yeah. You, you can see it. Uh, Perret's experiments. I can't, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Perret's experiments. Uh, Perret's conceptuals. Uh, Perret's petroglyphs. Uh, and then there's the the ones on the far right are from um, Aranga Ranga, are from Easter Island. And uh, they think that that's what they saw. They saw a bunch of weird images in the sky that that basically come from they're not unlike the northern lights, you know, but they make huh. an actual symbol. Uh, it's it's pretty nuts. But wow. uh, that uh, if you want to check that out, check out his book. Uh, highly recommend that book. The book's What's great the book read. called again? Uh, Forgotten it. Civilizations by Dr. Uh, Robert Schock. OK. That's pretty the, scary. Yes, yeah, it's, it's on the far right. <laughs> I said that. Yeah, that's it's you know it's frightening. Uh, th <laughs> that's not cool. I'll man. repeat again. The most frightening thing I've ever read, uh, out of every horror novel or anything, was in America before from Graham Hancock when he's talking to uh, an archaeologist about a mammoth that they found, and uh, they found that layer, that dark, that that black layer mm -hmm. over yep. it, like literally on top of it. And the guy just theorized how it possibly died. And what happened was a bunch of Clovis people hunted down this mammoth. They chopped off a leg. They probably took it back to go get to go cook it. And between the time of them chopping off the leg and going to cook it, something happened and killed everybody. Killed the thing, killed the mammoth. And something they that might, blackened the it, entire it might have been an air burst. Right right above them and then the guy described like how they would die and what the the meteor coming through and punching its way through the atmosphere would create an envelope right so you know our atmosphere uh imagine like it's the same way that wind would work 
you know, if there's a big explosion, you pu it pushes all the wind. So it basically pushes in our atmosphere and creates a void, and it's absolute zero within that. Like because you uh, you're getting the void from space down to Earth. Oxygen, so and so then for back for, out. for the fraction of a second, it's at absolute zero, and then the thing explodes, and then you're burned to death. It's like an atom bomb. So you freeze and burn to death, like Sounds all within a second. It's scary. fucking insane. Yeah. Wow. I've read it on the show before, but uh, it's in America before. It's uh, got to be honest. It's a legendary way to go out, though. That is. Know? At least it's quick. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. I don't want to yeah. hurt too long. <laughs> that was. A you, no, you wouldn't have felt a thing. It better been, than drowning. It had been over. It had been over for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That. that sounds horrifying. And, and freezing to death. No, thank that's, you. That's not fun. That's well, not freezing fun. to death would be. I think would be better than drowning. Uh, yes, and burning to death. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to burn painful. to death. Yeah, I'd rather. At least in death. this situation, you're doing all those well, things. Freeze at to once. death. You like go to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, it's start just to go to like, sleep. Like, boom. You're done. Uh, and your civilization's probably gone as well. I get you best True. deal. <laughs> yeah. If you do survive, you're going to be alone. <laughs> it's like a three in one. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about uh, Jimmy Corsetti a little bit? Yeah, let's talk about Jimmy Corsetti. Well, was Jimmy Corsetti. Script? Jimmy Corsetti's been uh, stirring the pot a little bit. He has, man. I On love Twitter, it. He went to Baalbek. And he did a live stream. Please go check it out. It yep. is awesome. Go check it out on Rumble because you can watch the full live stream. And he shows a small little fraction of the images that he took. He's working on a video now. Jimmy, where is your video? You it said is a week, absolutely insane. Maybe two weeks. I don't know. I'm looking for uh, Follow him on Instagram, too, because he's been posting a lot of images from his trip on Insta. And just everything just is so big. <laughs> this <It's tweet>. <laughs> size queen <laughs> this United <laughs> States Capitol building on January 6th those okay. are some interesting and patterns then it, there. and then he goes focus on the chairs people <laughs> look at the chairs look at the chairs uh yeah <clears throat> there's the same weird there. it's the same That's I mean weird. you look at I wish Andreas was here I mean you get him talking on like old masonic images imagery and stuff and like you look at the pentagon you look at the washington monument you look at the way that dc is structured where's sarah silverman yeah. sarah silverman <laughs> needs to call this out <laughs> right <laughs> uh you know these are the people who are telling us that we got to see say latinx we can't say he, him <laughs> anymore anymore and they're sitting on swastikas every fucking day yeah, what the heck <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> what the heck? Oh, oh yeah. man, that that funny. <laughs> I mean, these are these are proper questions, right? What, what this used to be a, a sign of prosperity and peace, like well, that's what the swastika well, it, stood for for thousands is. of years. It um, is for other no, cultures, no, they but demonized another country, it. not another the country. not the Western culture. The Nazis in, demonized in like, uh, it. Asia, I, I forgot. Right. Is it India? Well, yeah, Hitler, India, Asia. Okay, what is, Hitler well, I mean, was a, Hitler was jacked up on speed. He was a freaking tweaker. Oh and, yeah, and uh, he yeah he was into the occult, you know. And uh, they they did spend a lot of resources looking for things like the lost ark of the covenant, covenant, the spear of destiny, mm -hmm. the uh, Thor's he, hammer, Jim, Thor's hammer, uh, a, a lot of stuff that supposedly existed. Uh, they, they 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 were looking for that for 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 more power mm -hmm. uh and who knows what they found and what was you know plundered or taken by other countries like if they did and what's lost or, or in private collections that's what i uh, would wonder I is like what's in private collections right. that was stolen by the nazis who knows maybe we'll find out eventually i think we will maybe uh, maybe phoebe waller bridge will, will yeah she'll uncover it well, even like I think Switzerland, although they might have been neutral, they have a plethora of like um, stuff they've probably hidden away that they were given because they were neutral. Or at least that's what I was told on my hike. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's where you were. Nice. Yeah. I went were you to, inside uh, a glacier or something at one point? At so well, below we we I was a t okay. on top. I took a, a cable car up in France, and then we hiked did it make, literally. Did it make noise? 
the glacier? It, uh, there was definitely like uh, like sounds. I heard a couple cracks because it was yep. really hot when we were kind there. And um, I mean, you can like they they have one village which is underneath a glacier, and they have uh, cameras watching it just in case it actually has is gonna come down on the village. So they have to evacuate a couple times a year, oh my God. just in case. Oh, just in case. Yeah, it's, it's I, would, insane. I would try like not living in that village. That would be. My yeah, why not? I don't think it's move a along. I think hot, it's hot. just I nature like telling you to leave. Where it melted thousands and thousands of years ago. I, yeah, I got the past. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day we can live They've there, settled. but not right now. I would. Yeah, it, it was really wow. cool to see glaciers. Here's some more um, stuff from Jimmy. I stood at a glacier at in Alaska that was the very last bit of, of glacier. It was wow. maybe the si like an acre. They were like, yeah, this 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 sad. is where it's come to die. Like it, in, in about 10 years, 20 years, it'll be gone. That's insane. And this, this was about 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. So insanely detailed. Beautiful. So this is a doorway that he was in um, that was just... Wow. Star, the Star of David. What the heck? Just look I would, at our I wish there was um, I wish there was a size relation. Oh, I guess that's it right there, eh? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Look at that. Look how small. There. Look at this doorway. Massive. Insane. That's overkill. A little bit. Temple of, of Bacchus doorway well, the, is 42 feet high. Temple when of we Vegas went Dickus. to... <laughs> when we went to uh, uh, the Museum of London or the British Museum, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we saw this door, and it's massive door. Oh, dude, it's huge to, to this to a city. I, I can't remember the city, but it what it does is it, it immediately gives you a sense of the power of whoever owns this land, right? So that's why they build these massive, you know, the Sphinx and stuff like that. So that they're immediately trying to impart power straight to you you don't got to yep. tell anybody you don't have to ask anybody who owns this but whoever owns this place is powerful because they build doors like this the opulence mm -hmm. yeah dang it's really cool though yeah i love i'd love to go there oh my hand is his anus <laughs> jimmy's awesome man jimmy's so good on twitter yeah. oh yeah and those those are those wow. pillars actually so jimmy was saying those pillars are like eight feet wide like eight feet is wide. that a person there yep. little... uh, yeah little yeah oh. probably. how do you carve that rock i don't understand well, look at the it's look at the base like, look at the foundation though look at the foundation stones and those aren't even the big ones yeah those are like, huge yeah it's like but they usually they like obelisks like this or, or uh, pillars like this they'll have it in at the very bottom bigger. now Oh, these down uh, here! My God, yeah, these are that's massive. What, yeah, that's Look at the, okay, that's yeah, a person. Yeah. The size of my mouse is about the size of a person down there. Wow! That's yeah, the, look at that. Like those are in incredible. So that's huge. what they believe. Like the Romans built on top of where already they were already there. Like I believe were, it. Yeah, one hundred percent. I can see that. Yeah. The Romans that's are so like, cool. oh, these are good foundations. <laughs> we should use them. Oh, the Romans weren't stupid either. They like knew how to build no. stuff. No. So they're like, oh, these are fantastic foundations. Like, oh, oh yeah, let's. Uh oh, we just thought about the Roman Empire. Oh, we, yeah. oh man, we did. Did the Every Romans day. have yeah. nubs? Oh. You know, I don't know. No, no, they had huge dickuses. What are you talking about? Yes, the they biggest dickus. Well, I mean, those statues. They, about had, about they had whole carnivals and and <laughs> stuff about their dickuses. <laughs> <laughs> Why they fell? Yeah. Uh, Bubba Doom says, "Bat Boy over. lives." Bubba Doom has been a member for three months. What's up, brother? Uh, have some tacos, says Brent Wolf for fifty dollars. Brent Wolf. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to go back to California and have some tacos. I can't wait. Taco. Uh, have you had a chance to watch the Two Face? Uh, watch Two Face the Gray yet? No. Poseidon sixty five for ten dollars, but we should. Why is that again? I, you know what? I, I've been too busy watching One Piece and doing videos and uh, getting caught up. I, dude, it took me a week to just get acclimated to home again. It wasn't jet lag. It was just like we had so much shit to do. 
Yeah. So that's why all my videos are late. Uh, and I'm going to do a One Piece review. I don't give a shit how late it is because that show is 10 out of 10. It is the best show of the, the year. I just watched the first episode, finally. It's pretty good. It, it's so I good. good. It is the characters are great it and is. i was wa i was reading an article on the producers because the same producers made cowboy bebop uh. we all know how bad that was well the same but production they, company mm. tomorrow tomorrow production company yeah the producers were also involved with that as yeah. well oh so they were talking the, about how not they the, not the writers <laughs> right. they had different writers how yeah. they how they learned from that show and then mm. improved upon the way that they made TV. So hey, wow. look, Hollywood, wow. you could do it. They you can improve. Look at that. And they also, you know, it helped. One Piece is uh, the actress who played Nami, who's incredibly charming, by the way. If you, uh, I, they did a bunch of behind the scenes stuff before the strike, and none of the actors talk about representation, talk about anything other than their oh. show. And, and they don't trash they the were, fans. And they don't wow. trash the fans. They and the really actors playing Nami's like was is the true weeb of the whole bunch, <laughs> right? Right. And uh, gave her uh, anime and which, manga. Which one's Nami? I, I just... Nami's She's the, the redhead. Girl. So, it's the girl. The redhead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that that helped too. You didn't have an actress come out and go, you know, we can't what did the have girls them say? Oh, <laughs> when you, when you have IGN coming out and saying. You know, this show is really being held back by its desire to stick to the source material. <laughs> it's like, you know, that's you got why something people right. love it. You know, IGN, people are IGN, raving yeah. about how that's that it's accurate to the lore. And I'm like, isn't that what you would want that's in a live action? Want. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, can't wait Ugh. to talk about that. Uh, if X ray girl is driving, avoid the roads. Women plus Asian equals death, says Furious <laughs> Phil for $5. I could be the uh, modern day devil. You're welcome. You see how Devil's offended you see how offended X Ray Girl got over that statement. She did. Her whole demeanor <laughs> changed. <laughs> I felt that. No, she got that's, more emboldened. That's what she's like. She likes to hear that. She's like, yes, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna now look for you on the road. Yep. Furious <laughs> Phil. Furious Phil, you. you're number one. It's gonna <laughs> be like GTA Damn. five in real life. Oh wow. In Here. Minecraft. In Minecraft. In, in GTA 5. The GTA robot 5. revolution has begun in Texas. Is it? I'm guessing it's Texas. Uh, all hail our new co uh, car robot overlords, says Butt McCracken for $5. Uh, did Elon did something happen? get the Cybertruck going? or I, don't know. I, I mean, maybe he's thinking of New York. They just rolled out their new police freaking robot. Oh, my God. That thing that. is so funny. It's like Big Hero yeah. 6, almost. Dude, it's like, it's, it's, it's I'll push it over. It's, it's a I'll pair. Tipping. It's a pair. Yeah. yeah. You know they're going to tip it over. Uh, they're going to rip it off. I, that'd be the first thing I did is try to say, oh, I stole the fucking police robot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's in your living room. You're like, yeah. look at this. Reprogrammed uh, it to get me drinks. Epic Fantasy for 10 Australian dollars. Let's talk about non-woke gaming. Epic Fantasy RPG is at uh, Phenomicon and Arnicon co uh colorado keep yeah. up the good fight the pushback is real against the toxic woke mind virus it is by the way mm -hmm. thank you for the 10 australian dollars we are uh gaining the upper hand and kind of just watching everybody fail my my next video is about uh kind of laughing at disney so uh yeah. again because it's fun uh adam loves egypt so much he walks like an egyptian says eric k how do you how, are you watching me eric he, he, he is. He's he does. I can confirm. Off. He's watching you sleep. Yeah. The <laughs> chat has pulled together uh, some money for five bucks and says, thank you for being back. Please cover mud floods and star forts. Totally worth it. Props to all of you. Uh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Star forts are oh. cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know who They're all over the place. Talking about that. Andreas. Yeah. There you go. Every hey, chance is he gets. free next Sunday? Definitely. <laughs> Tim Somer for $10 says, hail to the fellowship. The 199 Long Island needs a meetup. Uh, when will that happen? <laughs> uh, Christmas New and York? New Year's is pretty sweet. New York Rock Center, Swift's, uh, what's that? Hiberian Pub and Gramercy Tavern, etc. Uh, it would take a lot to get me to New York, I'll be honest with you. 
Especially me during a busy know, I'd, season I'd, and it's I'd love cold. To go to New York again. I mean, to see Rockefeller Center and stuff and the ice rink and all that during Christmas would be pretty cool. Okay. Not saying it wouldn't. I'm a Christmas guy. I love I'm excited. I love Halloween and Christmas. This is my favorite time of year. Um mm -hmm. but man, I, I brother I, lived, I appreciate I lived it. in New York for twelve years. Yikes. I am so over I big like cities. To, I got Same. to see it in twenty nineteen before it got really bad, so uh, oh no! And I loved it. It was great. And then yeah. I got to leave, which was the we, best part. We had fun uh, when we went there for New York Comic Con. We had a good time. Yeah, that was yeah. Fun. yeah. I just think uh, cities and us aren't like a huge favorite for 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 the panel. Yeah, I, I lived. Tell. I lived in a big metropolitan city for eighteen years. I'm done. Same. <laughs> Freaking. Done. I like to visit them, you know, for like two yeah. days, and then you leave. Yeah. Yep. You stick yeah. stick there too long. It's it's. We, we were done. around so many people for even just. The UK, I was like overwhelmed in parking tickets, my car getting broken into all the time, mm -hmm. having to fight off fucking people trying to rob me and shit, and stealing yeah. their knives. And uh, yeah, it's just, I don't miss it at all. I love walking around my neighborhood. And there's like nice ladies walking people wave. their dogs and they wave. Yeah. And yeah. you know, it's yeah. just yeah. nice. It's Even nice. the shopping in New York, the, the stores are everywhere now. You don't have to go to New York to get that fashion. I'd also rather go to Europe for fashion. Yeah, you know it was Fashion Week uh, the week after you left, right? So it was Fashion Week in London, and uh, one of oh, Melissa's old so we got out just in the right time. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, no, I went to a bar that looked like the Bronze from Buffy, and uh, saw uh, uh, our old friend uh, Toddler. Toddler. He's uh, he he was a sniper who became a snipper, former sniper, government sniper, and then he turned into a hairdresser. Good dude. Oh, oh, I thought you were saying he was I, transitioning. Uh, I, no, I no, no, no. So that, that's a military thing now, I guess. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it is. Sure the VA is covering that. No, Todd was weird. awesome. Uh, yeah, but you missed I, Fashion Week. And and we yeah. did go to, to Leicester Square. Leicester, 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 Leicester Square. Leicester Square. And or that's where Dave Lando is going. Um, it was hopping. It was uh, midnight and like the streets were packed absolutely packed it was kind of happening there's That's a huge cool. harry potter store uh that wasn't an official harry potter store so it was like the, the spell shop or something like that there's a freaking there's an iron throne in the middle of it and i was like oh shit ran in there got some pictures yeah it was fun uh hail to the fellowship uh yeah a long island meetup sounds amazing around christmas and new year's uh 10 4 swift six, oh, did i read that one no, this is a it's different. Uh, on Swift's and Gramercy Tavern, Rock Center is kind of okay. Chicks dig it. 199. Uber Alice. 199 above all, by the way. Uber Alice means above all. You know how I know that? Because mm. uh, there's a great punk rock song called California Uber Alice. Cool. Is that, by the uh, Dead Kennedys. Dead Kennedys. Uh, Josh has become a member. Cheers, you, Josh. Hey, Josh. Welcome. Uh, v for Vin. Uh, Vienetta. Vienna. Vienetta. Uh, yeah. Vienetta do sausages. Not, do they not know the unboxing those aliens has their values? <laughs> right. You're right. I like I dig it. Unless you Absolutely. tape it up right and you have to find the right tape, the clear tape, not scotch tape. Okay. Uh, Thank Lucian. you. Little Lucian thing. Volk V. Volk V? Thank, Thank you for the $2. So. Sorry, I can't pronounce you your name, but I am dumb. I've warned <laughs> Lucian? you. Lucian? A most delicious looking alien, says uh, Thank Melodic you. Yeah, Method. Did, did you see the cake? The, the, the cake TikTok one. Cake. The cake one. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Oh, the cake. It looked exactly so like the aliens, man. And then yeah, it's cake. They did a good job. They yeah. did it. Neil Horn for 50. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. My man. Welcome back. I recently returned from hunting trip to the Brooks Range Mountains in Alaska. As we flew Beautiful. over the vast land, I thought about the ancient people who journeyed across it. What a courage, what courage that took. Also, aliens hate candy corn too. No, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That stuff that wax is disgusting. That's not Get it out candy. of my basket. That no, and the caramel not, not little candy. nuggets. More for me. No, the caramel nuggets aren't that More bad. More for me. Uh, the ones that it look like they've been they're made not, like 80 they, years they're ago. They're not candy corn bad. Come on. No, 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 no. I they're not getting eaten. That's what I, that's for sure. <laughs> Fuck you all. 
Uh, <laughs> Ruben right. Christopher Haynes uh, has been a member for Ruben. four months. What's up, Ruben? Says, hey, you, hey, you look like you're losing some weight in that little yeah, dude, he's profile, getting, bro. He's getting downright skinny and he sexy. He has lost Good job. Lot. I have decided to follow the inspiration of Chris Gore to become a producer and start offer my services to help you achieve your dreams. There you go. Go huge. out and get it. Go out and huge, yeah. but you're not huge Shh. anymore. Uh, the skeletons are a couple of years old. Uh, they're hodgepodge of animal bones. It's like the fairy uh, Jaime sold to L.A. Marzu Marzulli. Yes, I remember that. Yep, yep, yep. Bubba Doom 01. Or the uh, mermaids made of monkeys and fish. Yep. What? Uh, they look like uh, Asgard from SG from Stargate SG One. I gotta watch that, man. Matt, oh, mm. God, I, I know. I haven't seen that. every episode of Stargate SG One. We I have every episode. Well, I'm on a Buffy. I'm on a Buffy rewatch right now. I just finished season three, Bad Girls, which is a fucking epic episode. It's where Faith turns. You know, I need to watch Buffy and I need to watch X Files because I've never watched all of the episodes of X Files. Just watched sporadic episodes. Really. Yeah, as they came on, you know, just on TV, I never watched it. Like, I can I can loan them to you. I got the seasons. I never watched. I will uh, I will borrow them. You, you go. do need to send me those uh, speeches, please. Oh, oh, by the way, Adam, I just wanted to let you. I'm not forgetting that. I got. <gasps> a oh, you got them boxed and everything. You, for that's you. for no, me. No, no, you no, got that. For, no, this is my. No, no. I got that's you. for you. But you got for, that for, for him for you. You wanted to send me. I'm gonna oh, file. I see what you're gonna do. I'm I gonna, so it is I for me. It. That's it I, is for I know. You. I know that. Right. Thank you. I I've been I I thinking seriously of itching. You know. You told you know me you were gonna fucking... give me the DVDs. You put them on the table. You forgot them. I get it. But dude, these things are cheap now. These fucking. Yeah. Remember, How much was remember, it? Remember, it was like twenty bucks. Yeah. What? what? Oh wow. Because yeah. okay. nobody uses them. Nobody uses them anymore. We need to get rid of it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's that's. I, I just got to get Thank some you. software, but you're welcome. Thank you. And some uh, time. Happy. Well, I got time. I'll have oh, time this week. Uh, okay, happy return, peeps. You got to get Kerp on sometime. He uh, yes. was schooling Malice on tall on tall whites, grays, Nordics, etc. You're welcome. Recently, he's gone super deep in the past year. P.S. Did you watch uh, Fugle and Sean Ryan? I didn't. But I need oh, to watch that because that they did pull they pulled that interview. Uh what do you and mean? They, oh, they got too controversial because I think uh Where was they, it done? Was it on I YouTube? Know, I can't remember, but like they talked about religion probably a little bit, and that's probably why it got pulled. Uh, awesome. it was but we should definitely interview. get Kerp on. Kerp yeah. is great. It's he's, funny. He's into all this stuff. Who was talking to Kerp? Was it you talking to Kerp about this stuff? And uh, somebody said, you should get on for Ben Frontier. He's all, fuck that. I just want to talk to Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I was talking to him. You were talking to him? He was like, yeah. well, we were talking about something that just happened. And he was like, oh, that's a really cool thing. I was like, yeah, you should talk to Gary about it. You should come on the show. And he was like, no, I'm just going to text him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's great. Uh, he's great. That that Fugle interview with Sean Ryan, it was probably one of the best. And I think like he he actually talked at the beginning about like growing up with parents and like having uh, influence from like shows and movies like Star Wars. And I was just like, oh my god, the guys are gonna Gee, like love him extra more than they already do. No, Fugle. Is, uh, I need to know where to find this interview. He's Sean a nerd. Ryan, He's a nerd. We should get him on. Well, he, he probably won't scum around with us because he's a big old billionaire. But uh, he he can. Uh, I'd love to have him on. Love to talk mm -hmm. to him about nerdy stuff and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Hell yeah. yeah. By the way, love the show. Okay. But what, uh, you do waffle sometimes. If you truly want to be the next Dark Bell, tighten it up uh, just a little. You're great, says the chat for $5. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to be me. Yeah. 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 I think the hard part is uh, I'd just love to be, can we riff. I'd love to be the next Art Bell, but Art Bell didn't bully. I mean, as somebody who listened to Art Bell a lot, uh, he didn't believe everything, but he treated people with, like, his interviewers. He let them go and treated them with respect. That's what he did. But he uh, Art, Art didn't believe in half the shit that he talked about if you watched, if you listened. <laughs> he, he was. That's why we liked Art. Art was grounded, and Art would call people out. But... Uh, I don't know about what I don't know what did we waffle on today. The Mexican I don't know. aliens. The Mexican aliens been, are. This is our first I, show in a month. I mean, we're kind of. There is something uh, though that up. I understand. Like you know, we want to be a little bit more on topic. So you know, 
We try to do that. If, if we're talking about that, yeah. yeah. We're going to cover we're some trying. of this stuff, but, you know. I hear you. I, uh, I hear am probably you. more of a believer than anybody else, but. Uh, In the aliens. I'm... Oh, definitely, because they're, they're real. I think we're they're... all on the same page when it comes to I think, ancient yeah. civilizations. Yep. Well, aliens exist. It's aliens just a exist of, for sure. Uh, yeah. It's just a matter of like. I believe that too, yeah. Just yeah. mathematically, it's just be it, insane well, to believe alien? that they didn't. Yeah. Well, what is life? Life in well, life in this. I believe they've been here. Space. I believe our government has ships. I believe uh, they we have made deals with some. I believe there's multiple species. I believe as below as above, so below. So it probably operates a lot like we do in a microcosm. Like there's good species, there's evil species, there's malevolent, there's benevolent, uh, and maybe they work against each other. We don't know. But this this automatic assumption that like well, if they've achieved you know intergalactic space flight and stuff, they must have achieved inner peace. And they you know, I don't buy by that shit at all. It could be a, a, a you know a, a, a hive mind. It could be a could be AI. race. It could be AI. It could be all kinds of stuff. So yeah, it could be a so, war raging on out there. So I don't know what I'm waffling on. <laughs> I believe all that shit. <laughs> I believe in Atlantis. I believe in aliens. I even fucking believe in giants. So uh, there's uh, these are delicious there's waffles. Of, all right, yeah. chat. <laughs> but I, alien, well, okay. Alien now, with a great cake. Belgian waffle or like regular waffle? I might waffle between that because Ooh. I can't. What's the, wait, what is the difference? I don't what is the difference here? Belgian are the really thick ones. Like the thick ones. Yeah. 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 I like them. I like them like thinner and like crispy. Waffle. I like the the you know waffles what? crispy. It the depends crispy, on the day. That, that's a is this waffle a waffle? Can be crispy. Are we waffling right now? Uh, we're it's, waffling on waffles. That's the chat's fault. We're yeah. waffling. <laughs> we're waffling it on waffles. Literally, is the chat. But I have been <laughs> oh, in Belgium, yeah, that's true. and I've, I've the had chat. a Belgian waffle. They I'll pulled. They pulled together and told us to stop Kinda waffling, sucked. especially oh, on man. waffles. Oh, All right. suck. <laughs> waffles they are better than pancakes. I agree. You heard me. I'm not arguing. No, I agree with that. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, evening, Chucks. Check out Roman forts in uh, New England. Ooh, uh, there's oh, there's a bunch of old stuff. In, the in the, the stuff in America that has been just... It, well, thinking the of Roman the reason Paragon. it was ignored, the reason a lot of it was ignored is because when uh, we were running across the United States conquering everything, uh, we wiped most of it out. That's, that's kind of a problem. So there's so little of it left. But uh, like mounds, there used to be like they think... They think there were millions. Millions. Now we have like thousands. Just, oh, Northeast England, not Northeast not England. England. Yeah, Northeast. Right, okay. Well, okay. That, Northeast that makes England. more sense. My bad. That makes more my bad. sense. Yeah. My bad. I, I was thinking. I was about to be like, what? New England. <laughs> there was no W, though. I, I'm, I'm not, because Aaron uh, lives in, in Britain, so it would make sense. Oh, that's a pound. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I saw the plane slash saddle. What? Satellite, satellite dish. Uh, light in the night sky a few years uh, a few years ago. All of a sudden, it stopped and stood still, then went up yeah, and down, weird. moving really strangely. After a while, it just disappeared. That was probably a UFO. Satellite. See, that's that irregular movement that I was talking yeah. about. That I I Some need Norwegian to see. Norwegian guy in... for one hundred nineteen Norwegian krona. And I gotta say, you gotta think about right quantum physics and about like the the act of observing changes the way that certain molecules act. So like if it if it was, it f suddenly realized you, you were observing it, and then suddenly it started going like, oh shit, they're looking <laughs> at me. Poof, poof, gone. <laughs> they're like you know, using this same fun kind. fighter fighter flight. Yeah. Maybe maybe. Glad it's been uh, giant structure for giant creatures. Petra scale for Nephilim, maybe. Uh, the giant rabbit hole I went down. I, I love that one because I. We've talked about that. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. crazy, man. The it's stories pretty, that they've so had. So many reports. Yeah. It's, it's 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 like UFOs. It's even if we want to go to Bigfoot, there's it's just better so than many, UFOs. I think there's so many reports of it, and it goes back so far that there's got to be something to it, and. Uh, I think really breaking it down to like these were just big people. They were big in stature, but they didn't have the gigantism. Uh, they were actually well proportioned. They were about eight or nine feet tall. The women were about seven feet tall, right? Pretty regular. Uh, some of them were red haired. We hear the red haired giants for that goes way back to. I think there's something to it. I really do. Yeah, I really do. I agree. Like so, some of those stories are, are really credible, and I think it's totally believable that there is a, a 
a group of humanoids that could be larger than we are now because we've seen that even now there's humans well, there's that megafauna. Live, live with us on this planet that are way smaller than we are there was megafauna so there was them. giant sloths there was giant rhino, right woolly yeah, rhinos so it's, and it's woolly mammoths and, everything. and stuff so why wouldn't there be bigger dudes totally you blue know? yeah yeah uh graham on midnight's edge oh I, well, hey hey guys have you ever discussed the ring makers of saturn by r Bergen, uh, Bergen. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Uh, they've, they've, they've. This has been discussed on Secure Team. He's got a couple of videos on it from a few years back. If you want to check it out, but there is there is pictures of what looks like crafts that are making rings of Saturn. Don't know if I believe it or not, but I'm aware of it, and I we certainly could discuss it. It's bizarre. Uh, candy yes. stuffed corpse for five dollars. We could definitely talk about it. Uh, again, if you want some reference, there's, I think, two Secure Team videos on it uh, that you can watch, Secure Team 10. Graham on uh, Midnight's Edge, thoughts? I haven't seen it yet, the chat for $2. I saw that they uh, interviewed him, but I think we were gone. We were in gone. the UK, weren't we? Did, did you guys yeah. watch it? No. Watch it? no, I wasn't no, even I'll watch it. it. I'll probably oh, like, watch so it cool, later though. tomorrow. Yeah, that's really I cool. I watched it. it. It seriously is one of the best interviews that, that Graham's ever done. It's so well put together. Andre does a fantastic job. Andre's awesome. Andre's awesome. So, yeah. Of continuing the conversation and bringing good points up. And I, I, I was spellbound by this, by this interview. I mean, I, obviously I really love Graham Hancock. Um, so Andre uh, but, tried to come dude, to the meetup, but it was too last wow. night. He couldn't make it. Oh, yeah. that would have been Aww. great. Yeah. No, I love but Andre. Th seriously. Go watch that. Go watch it's, it. it. Go support fantastic. our friends over at midnight's edge, please. Yes. Fantastic interview. Um, uh, Ruben Christopher Haynes for five dollars. I have been having visions about this all the time. That is why I want to fight to live and help humanity. Seriously, love you all and want you happy. Hail. Oh, I am happy. I want you happy, Ruben. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty I want happy, you to do dude. That's great. That's the best energy right there. It I is. Love yeah. Love Ruben. I might not sound happy in my videos, but I'm I'm a happy guy. <laughs> I could vouch. I hung out with him for a week and it was all happiness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love life. That was such a great trip. It was so it, good. It, it was so it, fun. It, really it was, was that was a trip of a lifetime, the kind of thing you like never forget. Yep. Like, true. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. Yep. True. So I say let's fucking do it again. <laughs> let's do it. I know. <laughs> yeah, I was already planning the next one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Save up a couple of bucks, but uh, you know, oh, yeah. I can maybe sell a couple of comic books. I always tell my wife that. Like things get real dire. It's like I can sell a couple of comic books. We'll be all right. <laughs> It'll be okay. It's me and my magic cards. That, yeah, That's true. Oh, those magic cards are and worth some need. bucks, man. I can sell some of my magic cards. Yeah, yeah. you could. It's just totally. stuff, you know? Yep. Experience is the one thing I will go into. Like, I, I didn't go into debt, but the one thing I would go into debt for and have in the past is for experience to go on vacations. I would abs absolutely. It's worth it. You need it to, to obviously experience the world, but to meet new people and listen to their stories and what they what their perspective on things are. It's like, it's really refreshing to do that. And oh, yeah. I, like, this yeah. was the, my first trip outside of the U S so it, it was, was really cool to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was really cool to see a, a perspective on life and how they grew well, up. It, it's, like, so fucking cool. I can't wait it, to do more is. of that. I don't know if you like, I didn't talk to a bunch of people about say something like the Ukraine, but I did talk to like our cab drivers, right. So who are largely mm -hmm. immigrants to the UK, mm -hmm. but uh, acclimated, you know, cool Pakistani guys and stuff. And uh, we were in long ri cab rides. So we started talking, they started asking us kind of picking our brain, like, well, how do you like a president? And you know, I just said, oh, he's a fucking idiot, you know? And he started <laughs> laughing. He's like, he is. I'm like, yeah, he's a major idiot. Yeah. And it's scary yeah. what he's done. And then we started talking about uh, it wasn't the only person I talked about in the UK with Ukraine where they're just like, this is fucking nuts. We, you know, we shouldn't have, we shouldn't have meddled. And now we have put that entire continent in danger and they are fucking aware of it. So it's not mm -hmm. all lockstep there. There's a lot of like uh, really based and, you know, just common sense people, you know. Yeah. Uh, Most and, and I, I had a great like conversation that, with uh, with the taxi driver driving me back to uh, King's Cross uh, he's from India, and he was asking me questions about Texas, and I was talking to him about India, and we were having a... It was great. It was great. So travel yeah. more, and I can't wait to travel go to, like, more. Egypt. Like, that's... 
They, yeah. that, this is why they try to put us into voting in, into blocks. Yeah. They try to put yeah. us in into blocks to keep us separated. But if we individually start talking to each other, we can't. Like, hey, what's up, dude? You know, that's yeah. that's what it is. Most that's of the what time, they don't want you to do. They don't want us to do that. So fuck yeah. them. We're going to do, do it anyway. Sweden is rather progressive in, in many ways. People think about like the type of person that is in Sweden. And I went out to uh, I was like four and a half hours from my house last weekend. Uh, in a, a small music town and like okay now a music town in sweden and i i'm out in in a bar with my wife and i i'm speaking english and someone taps me on the shoulder english american mm. i'm like yeah and they're like i'm american like oh what up met some americans and like it turns out she was a fiance to somebody who lived in the town and like him and i started talking and he's a game developer actually kind of oh. cool yeah. little conversation and he, dude, he turned, turns out like him and like everyone there was so based, just like conservative, uh, totally okay. against the whole ideology shit that's being pushed. And like, I'm like, mm. this is my bar. Like, <laughs> yeah. what, what is this place? What the hell? I started found playing cards with Trump's face on it. I'm like, this is amazing. Like, where am I? <laughs> like, I'm coming here hilarious. all the time now. Yeah. Too bad it's but like four hours away. Yeah, that, that's it, the it thing. Is it's like experience is something that you can't get staying in your little town or city in that area with the same people. And that's yeah. why we're getting people who are just so um, small minded that we see on the Internet. So well, the Internet you know, doesn't count, though, either. Right. People yeah, think that they're like getting out there. Exactly. I, right. You know what I mean? It's like you got to actually go that's and be the yeah, yeah, their like, world. It's so different when you can be thankful for everything that you have in America. And I'm counting do, the do US. Do we sound like Canada. a bunch of YouTubers who just finally touch grass? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, um, I should have included it. I touched grass at the oh, Stonehenge. Touch grass. <laughs> I touched the king's Great. grass at Windsor. Remember? So I that? touched yeah. the king's oh, yeah, grass. Yeah, yes. And then I flipped it off. But yeah, I, I think it's just important just yeah. as a it human is, being. It is. Uh, the yeah. empire that ruled America before Europeans is the latest vid from AIG. Ooh, I got to check it out. Ooh, interesting. Hell yeah. Mm. Konglian, thank you very much. I I, I, I I take your suggestions, especially on the videos. I make my little playlist before I go to bed at night. You know, I, I, I fire up my vape. I sit behind my by my fireplace that doesn't have a fire in it because it's 170 <laughs> fucking yeah. degrees right now. It's Texas. And, uh, and I listen to that stuff for like an hour. I just sit there chilling like like, you know. I wish I had like a, I want to, I want to get a pipe like Tolkien's, but that, that's vape. <laughs> I wonder if they make one. That'd be cool. I got it. I, I got a long pipe. I've got a, I've got a Tolkien pipe. Somebody sent me one. Maybe I'll. There is such some. thing as an e-pipe, an advanced version of the old style pipes. Oh, that'd be cool. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So like an actual uh, vape, but it's a pipe. I know mm -hmm. vaping is douchey. I don't care. I don't give a shit. I, I, I try not to while. be douchey about it. Okay. But I quit. I'm nicotine free. Good. Nice. Good. Three weeks. No, a month now. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, Good congrats. Job. Uh, thank you for being a member for six months, by the way. That's awesome. Josh, Kelsey drops 20, leaves. That's what Josh does. Josh That's is a man of does. no words. He, drops. <laughs> mm -hmm. he just drops coin, drops chatter, and leave. Josh, we love you. We Josh love to hear from you sometimes. Yes. Josh, Josh is a Chad, but he's now he's like, I can't ruin my reputation, and there's I can't <laughs> say anything better than I've already said. We could right. imprint it, right? You know, so uh, muffler tape for five dollars. I I've used muffler tape by the way a lot. Mm. Uh, just chatting to encourage you to try to get Ben Davidson on sometime. Most horrific uh, though is that we are in a perpetual loop due to solar issues uh let's could you write that down please uh, x-ray already Thank written oh uh, see that's why she's the best producer on the planet professional ladies and gentlemen it must be nice working with uh, takes notes professional producers it really but is it not really is you're not used to that manner <laughs> trust oh. me Hey, don't talk about your mom like that, Adam. Trust okay? me, actually, you're, you're, you're better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> Happy it's birthday, birthday, Mrs. Today. Craigler. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, no. uh, common Conspiracy. This is from Lady Gravemaster, who's not supposed to be su super chatting. Uh, 
Well, Stop. What are you doing? Are also, you doing? another very professional producer there. Well, she's our research lady. Yeah. She's freaking good at it. Actually, she's, she's really, really, super really autistic. Good. Yeah, she gets. Yeah, like, it's it awesome. Gets a little, it's like, could you simplify this for somebody dumb? Just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just break it down to like dumb levels. Pretend I'm dumb, okay? Because <laughs> like, I'm like, I, I don't understand this. Aw, this is what I <laughs> do really anyway. Good. Aw, hi, lady. Uh, common Catholic conspiracy: Hitler had two of the three pieces of the Spirit of Destiny. I'm aware of this, and uh, only one reason. Uh, they, he lost the war was because there were stolen from him. Art Bell did an entire episode on this. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Interesting. But this goes way back. Like they did an in search of on Hitler's obsession with the occult, like back in the day. It's one of the earliest things. By the way, you can get all of the in search of uh, the complete series for 40 bucks on Amazon, 30 or 40 bucks. Oh. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. You get some of that older stuff, right? And you think, well, a lot has updated since then, but no, a lot hasn't, and you're actually closer to the truth when it's in the past. Just saying. Uh, loot went with escapees to South America after World War II, says Aaron Bacon, for two British pounds. That's mm. a good point. I bet it did. I bet it did. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. In Argentina. Mm -hmm. It is so weird that Joe Rogan or had that, that guy who did, or America, <laughs> um, that guy who did the hunting for Hitler show, he's like an ex military veteran buff dude or whatever. So Joe Rogan's <laughs> interviewing him and, uh, he's talking about how they're like in Argentina, they're straight up just German towns. They're all pure yep. German. Yep. They speak German. They look like you look like you're in Germany. It's bizarre. It's freaking bizarre, but they exist. Well, yeah. Hmm. And Canada's now celebrating. Uh, never mind. Oh, uh, well, mm -hmm, mm. moving on. <laughs> uh, I saw that. What? Canada. Standing ovation. Canada, uh, did, will... Canada did something pretty base lately, though. They protested uh, oh, pretty yeah, the hard. Protest. Yeah. 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 Well, see, Citizen. that's the difference. That's the citizens because yeah, the Canadian the people citizens. are great. Uh, yeah. It's Canadian leader. government. No good. I'll, I'll link yeah. you the what he's talking about. Canada's like yeah. California, the country. I mean, California would be <laughs> completely like Canada if it could be. Right. So true. Dependent on the rest well, of America. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. UK. I love you guys. Your government is fucked. I, everything is fucked over there as far as bureaucracy and the way you go about things. Like, you know, like let me hold West, up a mirror. Where in the West is it not? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> right. At least I can go to Everywhere. a different state. I mean, it's the same, but I can go to a different state and it'll be vastly different than other true. states. Like New Mexico borders us. Their politics are completely different. Everything looks completely different when you go there. It looks kind of shittier. The roads uh, suck. The roads suck. Dude, you know, and do. Texas is at least improving their roads. I mean, a lot of them still suck, but like you can drive on most of them now. Uh, as, as opposed to California that wants to tax you per mile in San Diego. That's they, they shot it down, but they'll, they'll pass it someday. And then in the UK, there's variable speeds for different vehicles. What? There's variable and, speed and limits. if you have a car oh, yeah. past like a certain year, you just get fined if you just have it in London or some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, that's some fucked up crazy. Silly. It's yeah. un American. Silliness. It's un American. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how dare this not be an American over here? But the people are awesome. I thought about we almost moved to the UK, but I was like, the, it was the government. They were like, no, mm -mm. no way. I, I'm the not. Countryside is beautiful, great. man. Countryside. Oh, Yorkshire. Absolutely. Yorkshire is fucking Dude, awesome. Dude, Yorkshire is God's country. That's yes, north. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah, it's north. north. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. You guys. Yeah, it's beautiful up there. Uh, yeah. I awesome. Check that out. Uh, do you think you guys, species... guys got to get over to, to my side, though? Oh, I know. I know. I know. It's I know. I, try. I, know. I know. You try. That would have been awesome. But we there. we will get there. We'll <laughs> check out the rest of Europe, but then I'll drive at that point. Because you drive on the right side of the road in Sweden, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm. I want to drive through Europe. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I want to get you guys down to Italy, Italy and Sicily, and uh, the, the Mediterranean, yes. Greece, Malta. like the food. Malta. The yeah. food is insane. Go to Malta. Uh, what are the costs? Yeah. It's a little crazy, but um, it's fun. Like it. Like Sicily was rad. Sicily was rad. Uh, we do, do you have think, plans again. 
We do. Do you guys uh, think any species that have space travel would be a single unified culture or would they be factions or parties like we do? I think it's faction and parties like, like us. It'd be just like, you know, as, just like us. As above, so below. There, there That's why a, I, always, I always thought like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy was probably Satan. a pretty accurate representation of what the galaxy is. It's probably full of bureaucracy and stupid yeah. shit. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Vi, uh, Villa idiot Villa or villa idiot. idiot i think there's an inherent distrust so. in something you're that's not different. an idiot to us you're amongst friends here but you are fellow, a fellow idiots uh greggy gilgan for five australian dollars are you familiar with the suspicious observers youtube channel all about the sun micronova disaster cycle and things happening now i am familiar oh. with that channel i am I We're am gonna now. have to look at that. I think it's rad that you brought that up, Adam. I think yeah. we should Thank you. we should look we should do a deep dive on that one. So, uh, X-ray girl, write down elongated skulls. We need to do an entire episode on elongated skulls sooner than later. I wonder if we can get Brian Forster on for elongated skulls specifically. We should try. Shouldn't we try, chat? Don't you think we should just try to get? I think Brian Forster would do it. He seems like a cool dude. You know what oh, helps. Is other people in the chat, the audience, telling him he should come on our show? There you go. Because then he's like, hey, all these people telling me I should go on this show. Yeah. Hey, Zorbu. 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 Zorbu, Next baby. Time, why don't you probe his ear a little bit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Picking up what I'm putting down. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Greggy. <laughs> uh platonic guardian for five dollars says you guys should interview dr david miano from the world of antiquity channel he has good critiques of both graham and bright insight i'm open to it world of antiquity i always end up at the end of these shows with a million tabs because i'm uh, just yeah. like all these cool new things that you guys always bring up Flutter Girl for 20 Canadian pesos. Missed you guys. Thought after reading those forbidden books in France that maybe Nostradamus saw the past in those books. Uh, I don't know. Nostrad I, uh, I, Nostradamus is a trip. Absolutely a trip. Sure, there were some generalizations, but there's other stuff that just is undeniable. Uh, so I don't know if he uh, was on drugs and saw the future. Don't fucking know. But Nostradamus, that's another thing we can do a show on. Uh, did you get the books I sent? Email says delivered. Uh, Jimmy Collins, is that the stack of Thor hired all books? Which one? Somebody sent, I, I got to find out. I got a stack of Thor hired all books from discount books like this, which is wonderful, by the way. Thank you so much. They're fucking awesome. And they're going to go in my paranormal, my paranormal library, which is going to be my walk-in closet right here, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> but I'm making it my paranormal library. Because my fantasy books and everything else take up all my bookshelves, so I have to create a new space. And I've just got nothing but junk in there right now. So nice. I'm going to turn it into the, the like Forbidden insulated. Frontier Research Room. You know, which, you know what closet I'm talking about, Garrett? The one that yeah. has a closet and a closet? Yes. Yeah. So my closet so has a closet. Not comics is, is okay. room. Closet. The other one. Comics is room. But yes, I have a closet it's with a closet. One. Okay. so That's like... It, that's like the gay man's inner straight man, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> or it's like I'm it's gay. Like, it's like I'm Tim's, also straight. It's kind of like it's <laughs> my version. It's my version of Tim's panic room. Uh, okay. <laughs> His panic room is massive. It's it's pretty, pretty big. Yeah, and it's got a. Oh, you saw a, it, right? So oh, yeah, you, I you did. I did. Right, yeah, right. it's a thing that you hit, and the fucking thing comes up, and it's like, oh shit, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Crazy. Uh, did you get okay, so? Thank you, Jimmy. If that's what I was, if I got that, I got a lot of books. But if it's the Thor hired all ones, they were fucking awesome. Oh, wait, uh, the exalted patriarch for nine ninety nine. So speaking of the Roman Empire, I was watching History of the World Part <laughs> One and think a vote should be taken to change Comics Division's name to Comicus. <laughs> Want to <laughs> wanna give NVTS? Let's get NVTS. Nuts, Bad. by the way. Got it. Let's get Oh, nuts. I see. I nuts. see. I got it. Uh Comicus. I'm I'm okay with that. We can we can that vote to do cool. that. 
Uh, Y'all discuss Osiris Rex asteroid sample that landed back here on Earth. Uh, I don't, I know it landed. I don't know what they got from it. Yeah. Well, they, we haven't found out yet. I watched it earlier live. It's, uh, it's really cool. I mean, they, it landed in Utah, right? Yeah. The cool thing is, is that the probe, the, the thing that actually went to Bennu and like got the sample, came back, dropped the sample off. And continued on to go like get more samples. Like shit's not done. It's gonna keep going. Uh, so it's it's pretty amazing. That's awesome that we can do that. Uh, the reason we're going to that asteroid and getting samples from it. Did you know? Do you know what the real reason is? Because that fucker could hit us. Yep. In a hundred and fifty years or something. Hundred and fifty years. So they're trying to get the composition of it to figure out like how to stop it. Yeah, or deflected or whatnot. Yeah, because if it's deflecting just dust. is the only chance. That, yeah, because because you look at it. It's, if you blew it up, it would just be it would shotgun. just come back. It, no, it would, well, it'd be shotgun. But if we blew it up far enough away, it would just come back together. Right. <laughs> yeah, it would just like, you. It would just go. Something yeah. like twenty-two n nukes at once, going off in one spot. That's how much power it would be. So, yeah. And it's not even that big. That's the crazy part. It's kind of small. It's kind of small. I mean, like, we'd survive, but it would it would be a bad couple yeah, of Yeah, I mean, decades, if it hit a decades. city, it would... It would It'd wipe out the city, but yeah. it would also... It could do it the whole really nuclear bad. winter thing, so it would be a bad decade or two. All right, we just need Bruce Willis, Ben Affleck, Steve Buscemi, <laughs> send them straight up there. They can drill into it, because yep. you can teach a, a person that drills... But how to be an astronaut. Only, Bruce Willis, Ben Affleck, and Aerosmith has to be right. singing in the yeah. background. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you see Ben Affleck break down the, like, the commentary? The commentary on like the scene with Bruce Willis talking about like Yeah. yeah. Man. <laughs> this, this is guy. ridiculous. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. That Dude, uh, I know we hate Kevin Smith, but one of the all time best commentaries on a DVD is Mall Rats. Really? Never because they it. they stopped talking about the movie, the movie. They, just, they bullshit for like two hours. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Uh, one of the other best commentaries is the Ghostbusters special edition where they MST3K it with Harold Ramis. It's fucking great. What? Good shit. Wait, the yes. first Ghostbusters? So Wait, the, how did they... the, the first Ghostbusters special edition disc that came out 20 years ago. Yeah. 15 years ago. Before the video game. They uh, did a, they, they did a commentary and it's MS3. MST, it's it's Mystery Science Theater 3000s. Yeah. So they're silhouettes watching the but, fucking right, movie. Right, because it's before it's, he it's passed all away. Four of them? No, uh, uh, it's not. It's uh, I think it's Ramis, and uh, I'm blanking on the director's name. I'm so I'm a bad nerd right now. He just passed away. Uh, oh fuck! Uh, the uh, director. Uh, uh, his son directed the other one. Yes, yeah. Uh, he directed anyone? Animal House. I like his name's on the tip of my tongue. Ivan. Ivan yes, Reitman. Reitman. Ivan Reitman. So it's Ivan Reitman, Russ, Harold Ramis. That was and, Russ Williams. Shout out to Russ Williams in chat. Russ. Yeah. And I think Ackroyd might be on that one too. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. It's been many years since I saw it, but it was it's such a good commentary. It's so good. I like that Ghostbusters video game, by the way. I thought that was fucking. Is it rad. good? I never played it's it. It's supposed yeah. to be the third one, right? I mean, if, like, it's essentially right the third. Yeah, you're you're like a new recruit, and it's 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 oh. it's a rad game. Uh, history, just one damn thing after another, says Mighty Balzac for <laughs> for twenty yep. for two Australian dollars. Uh, Valiant Zorbu's Thor, cousin. Valiant Thor is Zorbu's cousin uh, for President yeah. two thousand twenty four. The Happy Plague Doctor. Know who I know who Valiant uh, Thor is. Supposedly an alien. Uh, you will look up the story. When you were in the UK, did any of you go to Leavesden Studios? No, we did not. Lego Fifth Doctor, we did not. Mm -hmm. Wish that. Four ninety nine. Sorry, uh, it's just stopped doing it now. Okay, Gary, uh, red pill your audience about the Dulce. Oh, oh, the Dulce New Mexico base. Well, that's an underground base where there was supposedly a war. Uh, there was. I'm blanking on the gentleman's name. Uh, he told the whole story. Uh, he's missing digits. He uh, passed away. They said he committed suicide, but it looked like murder. Um, what is his name, chat? What is his name? Never heard what of is it. his name. So the what underground is military name? base? Yeah, under under the Dulce base in New Mexico. And it there was, was I'm a between who? Base. Like aliens our and government humans. and aliens. Our government and aliens. There was a war. There was they fought a a war. 
That's a big base. It was uh, huh. Phil Schneider. J. Phil Schneider. Thank you, Phil Schneider. That's Chat, it. Chat's on. That's love not the, me. That's, love the chat. That's chat. Chat's, chat's so good. Jalapeno. Yeah. Well, these I can't remember all these names all at once. It drives me crazy. But I that was Jalapeno with that. Yeah. Thank you, Jalapeno. Phil Schneider. That's right. That'd be a good one to do. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people think he was full yeah, of shit, but the way he, he the way he committed suicide is impossible. Like uh, kind of like shot, one of those. shooting yourself with a shotgun after you hang yourself. Uh, yeah. yeah. Kind of, well, he strangled himself with a cord somehow, like this. Oh. Like a garrot, like you would if you were an assassin and you were yeah, yeah. going to strangle somebody. Yeah. What? That's yeah. crazy. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, we will definitely discuss. On a stick? Either. You're saying on a stick in the chat. What? Yeah. I don't know that. It, oh, there's wow. no way he there's no way he could have fucking killed himself that way. I, he had problems, yeah, but there's no there's no way he could have killed himself like that. Uh War Song 99 for 50 Canadian pesos. 50 HP Lovecraft's at the Mountains of Madness is a great it is a great short story that makes you think I about ancient that. life and cultures. Love this series and hope you guys and you too, X Ray Girl, keep on making many more episodes thank you thank you uh read that show story if you haven't yes there's a great fantastic. hardcover of all of his uh his short stories all together uh they're fucking fantastic Have and they ever... all make you think about that kind of stuff all of these like ancient apocalypse other civilizations other dimensions it's he's a great writer oh the old ones man fucking good shit Call back from being Adam. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Says cheesy Tarian. It's it's a rock. It's a rock. <laughs> Reminds me of the movie Starsky and Hutch. It's not a boat. That's, it's a yacht. It's a yacht. Uh, That's a SpongeBob giants, reference. I got if there, were, if there were giants, do you think the giant uh, women's profiles on Paleo Tinder would be like must be nine feet tall, <laughs> have at least one hundred <laughs> short face bear skulls and twelve pack abs? Says Johan Knoxos for twenty dollars. Yes. Yep. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. And a redhead. <laughs> and a redhead. Uh, Ashlyn Hayden has become a member. Thank you very Ashley. much. What up, Ashley? Cheers. Uh, boop, 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 boom, boom. Uh, first trip to the U.S. Wow, I've traveled for 23 years. Love it. I've met thousands of people. It gives you life education, and you learn a lot. It says a uh, big nice. Obi Pixel. I can't wait to do it more. First trip out of the U.S. I think yeah, you're talking about it. right. Yeah, was Garrett, that was his first trip. First trip out of the U.S. Sorry. Right. Uh, awesome. It was. It was. And uh, I saw the look on Garrett's face when he's out there. It's a little. It's overwhelming it for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. When he finally put that nut cream in his mouth, though, it was just bliss. That's when right? things right. kind of settled down. Oh, my down. God. We still hey, got what? Right here. He's got it in his hand. Look. I got the nut cream oh, right wow. he, he brought. I was thinking about eating some of this home. nut cream, but I got to save it. He is it. always carrying around Adam's, Adam's nut cream in his pocket. That's, Wait, it was uh, a magical trip. I got more than one. What can I say? I got I got an effect on people. You know. He's a nut cream dealer. Man, I dropped my nut cream on the ground. Uh, Mario build reps is great. He shows building orientations to ancient poles and expanding earth theory, a must to check out. Oh, we got to get into that expanding earth theory too. You know, who's into that? Neil Adams, the for, the comic book really? artist. Yeah. He's, he, Neil Adams has been on Art Bell before. So you can go back and listen to the Neil Adams Art Bell episodes where he talks about the expanding earth. And I actually talked to him about the expanding earth on the floor of Comic-Con for about an hour. Really? Well, he did most of the talking. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. But I just sat there and listened. It was great. I met uh, I met him one time, and I was like, "Man, I love your your uh, your Batman. It's the greatest. Your legend." And he was, "Yeah, I bet you do." <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "All right, okay. All you right, can say well. that because you're Neil Adams." It's the suede Dedham secret police. They've come for your uncool niece. That is California Uber Alice by Dead Kennedys. Nice. Scruffy nerf herder for five dollars. I know what you're talking about, Chair. You can't get punk rock lyrics by me. California Uber Alice. See, you is get that the it? punk rock references. I get the SpongeBob references. I watched SpongeBob. Yeah. What are you talking about? I didn't. Like, did I you didn't miss? Watch. You missed the the. Reference. I missed the old SpongeBob. That's the best one. Yeah, season one, two, three. It's always the OG is better. Yeah, it's not just the Boulder. 
Um, it's a rock. We also have gifted memberships as well. Uh, oh, wait. I, you're here. Uh, Never mind. No, you're good. I'm, I'm in there now. You're I'm in, in there, there now. I'm in the stream. The, I did all the super chats. We're in uh, Streamlabs. Uh, we're almost done here, though. Zorbu, okay. by the way, is trying to. I got a storm in. going on. You, Zorbu! Do you, you have a storm? Yeah, there's a storm brewing outside. Oh Maybe God. it's Zorbu. It might be. No, our storm. I was just hit. thinking about Zorbu. I was like, what, what happened? doesn't hit us until tomorrow. Doesn't Zorbu. Hit us. There's supposed to be a big one tomorrow here, but. Uh, uh, Zorbu in three parts for $75. Whoa! Zorbu! Yeah. Zorbu. Goodness, All Zorbu. Right, here. All right. People of I'm Earth. I'm glad you're here, man. He says, People of Earth, take me to your leader. Ha ha, just kidding. Not really. No, really. I'm kidding. There's no effing way you'll catch Zorbu meeting that creep show Biden. He's probably tried to sniff me or something. Based. All joking okay. aside, uh, Earthlings, pouring out a 40 and playing some Sarah McLaughlin in the arms of the angels for my two homies that were on display in, New Mex in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Next Mexico I probe is going to get it sideways. Oh, God. <laughs> One last oh thing, God. Earthlings. You keep asking why we sometimes crash our faster than light capable craft on Earth. Two words women drivers. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, I thought you advanced to the point where you don't let them drive anymore. I but relate to them. We're more okay. like each other than. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as different. above, so below. Do they so, also have, you know, they have Asians eyes? in space. They have Asian Went women in space <laughs> driving. <laughs> you saw the little Asian faces. They had the they had the they eyes. Had oh, eyes. you said that. I didn't. Those oh. aliens are Asian. They had little Asian faces. 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 <laughs> that was he was going full Asian with it. They have Asian faces. We got some very Asian <laughs> Asian faces. <laughs> Asian faces. <laughs> William you, 101. Has gifted 10 Nerdrotic Live memberships for $50. 50. 50. <laughs> Taco Ninja Skills on the Streamlab side for $20. Missing 411 and the UFO connection can be bought on uh, uh, NA bigfootsearch.com so that's na bigfootsearch.com by the way official dvd and blu-ray as well as the books if you don't hold it you won't you don't own it uh i love i, I will buy those i will I, I i i have been searching for physical media like i've got all the watchers on on dvd um uh i was talking to uh peter Samedi. you know peter Samedi, the publisher alternate comics he wants to come on the show. He's in the paranormal, so we're going to bring oh, him on. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, we're talking to him about sightings, and apparently you can find sightings on physical media. I love sightings. Love that show. But got all of In Search Of. Uh, I've got all the, you know, the the conference discs that I bought at um, at, uh, at uh, Contact in the Desert over the years. Uh, yeah, I love all that shit. I will buy it. So that is nabigfootsearch.com. Uh, missing 411, Dave Politi's fucking awesome shit. Like, that's... That stuff will man. creep you out. It will creep you We should you do the another episode we on should. the 411. Ooh, we I should. mean, Halloween yeah, is coming really up. That's true. On, you know, so, yeah. Certain stories. Like three, maybe four stories. Yeah, I do right, want right, to focus right. on, like, it doesn't have to be like ghosts, but I definitely want to focus on the spooky for October. I want okay. to do okay. one of those um, good. possession ones, another one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Father Malachi Martin. We can do a whole thing on him. We haven't Talked done that about one that. yet. Yeah. No. Uh, Epic Fantasy has gifted 10 Nerdrotic Live memberships for $50. <laughs> 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 uh, Lucian Volki 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 Volkavi, I Volkavi think. Volkavi for a dollar says, Harry, this is the truth about the Mexican alien bodies. Who's Harry? I don't know. Potter? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Henderson's? Henderson? Hey, that is a great movie, dude. That's a fantastic movie. I love that movie. Uh, I, I get will you check right it out. here, man. Thank you. Uh, Peter Constable has gifted, uh, has donated $3. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Wolverine Snicked has gifted five neurotic memberships for $25. Thank you. <laughs> Quelndar for $50 says Love Forbidden frontier got into the subject early on with library books on stonehenge bermuda triangle etc in grade school found hancock's fingerprints after reading the sign and the seal and his search for the ark of the covenant hail the frontier fellowship hail to you
You know what? Uh, I haven't read Sign and the Seal in a long time. I need to read it. That's his first book. It's about the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, cool. Ashley Hayden, again, has gifted 10 Nerdrotic Live memberships. Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Wow. Ashley's a real one. Thank you, Ashley. You're wonderful. Even if you like Adam, we still love you. <laughs> uh, Matthew Hammond for four ninety nine. What is the best alien movie, and why is it Mars Attacks? Ah, gah, gah, uh, gah, gah, gah. I hate Mars Attacks. I, I, I like Mars Attacks, but I, I don't it. think it, it's it was, even where close to this, the best goofy. alien movie. I don't know. It wasn't. It was it wasn't trying to. There's be like serious, Close Encounters. Know, it was like it was trying one. to be aliens. I, yeah, I just didn't. I, there's something that annoyed the fuck Predator. out of me about that movie. I don't know why, but I, not, I'm yeah. not a fan. I like Tim Burton, and I I understand mm -hmm. the the card game, the tops card game, everything. That's just I, yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I saw it in Vegas during oh, that's the Comic Con. A best way to see it. In it's Vegas, like, yeah. Yeah, it's, like Vegas. it's got a very Vegas feel to it. It does, know? it does. Uh, my favorite alien movie? Independence mm. Day. No, Close Stargate. Encounters. Close Encounters. Close Encounters. Close Encounters. See, see? Close Encounters. Stargate. No. That's Stargate. pretty good too. I like that Stargate, one. Stargate, you know what? The show's fine. The movie sucked. The movie blew. I love the Dis movie. Disagree. I fucking hate Dis the movie. Hard disagree. It is a disagree. terrible movie. Heart, heartfelt. It is a fucking terrible movie. The Kurt show, Russell, come the on. show improves on it already, like yeah, almost 100%. immediately. One hundred percent. You're you're absolutely right. Almost the show, immediately. Yeah. The show makes it. And I like Kurt, Kurt Russell. The thing. That's a good pull. The thing. Mm, well, the that's thing my, is good. That's my favorite. Mm. Uh, that and horror? The Exorcist are my favorite horror movies. The thing mm. is, yeah, is tied. Let's with the combine Exorcist. the two. Alien. Amazing. Aliens, horror amazing. And alien. Aliens, and then aliens. Yep. Predator. Predator's Predator one, good. yeah. Predator's, Predator's good. fucking mm -hmm. great. Predator's mm -hmm. great, yeah. Galaxy Quest, that's a good pull, Steven. <laughs> mm -hmm. I haven't watched that yet. I want to watch it. Oh, you got oh. E.T. No, wait. No, don't watch it. You got to watch all of Star Trek first and then Galaxy mm -hmm. Quest. I'm working on it slowly but surely. That's the order. Okay. I'm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm let's gonna, go. You're crashing? I'm, yeah, I'm, it's, I've it's been late. fighting yawns. I saw Ashley say earlier, like, Adam falling asleep. I'm like, no, no, I'm not falling I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. There's I'm just yawning, way. okay? Oh, that'd be good. Oh, God. Chris Gore just sent Wait, me, like, really? gold mine Is that true? Stuff. I, I, I don't think That's it's... That's V6 Neon, dude. He knows. I can't got talk his, about it. He's got his ear to the freaking ground. Mm -hmm. So that'd be cool. If Depp did live action. action. Thanks, Aaron Bacon. For two pounds. What are you guys doing up there? What are you I don't doing? know about that. What's happening? What? I was thinking about Johnny. Oh, Depp I just got the... I got a message from Chris Gore. I can't repeat it, but uh, it's very oh. interesting. Oh. Well, she will end the stream so that you can okay. tell me. Okay, so we can talk about it. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth telling you. No aliens. Oh, now well, we gotta right. talk well, about it. Uh, I, I was like, oh, shit, it might change the end of my video. <laughs> but uh, oh. oh. Oh, well, now well, you, well, you have time to. You, oh. you, have, you have time. I will. Yeah, work on work on what yeah. with what I provide you, and then we can change yeah. it if we need to. Uh, because tomorrow, I'm spending all day recording my One Piece review. I'm so excited about that. I don't care if five. I can't wait to it. watch that one. I just like that you're doing more positive stuff, and you're so excited about I'm it. I'm super <laughs> excited about this. I'm like giddy about it. So. All right, uh, what you got coming up, Quarter Black Garrett? Uh, I'm editing that video about Disney being shit at their jobs. So <laughs> go watch that when that's yeah. finished. And then, uh, you know, Bay Staff Mondays tomorrow. Bay Staff I did, Monday. I, I did not get... I was supposed to give the nut cream to Flawed, but I didn't do it because we forgot. Uh, together, we both forgot. You so, didn't forget. Uh, you, wanted, wait. you wanted to hoard the I'm trying Adam's to keep all the nut, nut cream for myself. You're hoarding Adam's nut cream. That's what you're I'll give it to love, him this week. I'll give it to him I this week. I would love to see Flawed put the nut cream on a glizzy and eat it. Hey, is, is, That's a weird gonna combination. Tell, I'm going to tell him you said that. Um, can, can anyone clip that, actually, and, and send that to me? <laughs> send that yep. straight to yeah. Flawed. Um, just send hey, it to uh, Is Carl coming? Uh, are you going to see Carl? Uh, I th I'm feeling like it's a yes. Okay. Mm. We're on, we're on a I, yes side. Because I'm going to go up if he goes there. I promised him I'd come drive on. up. So it's Thursday, right? So yeah. I'll come up. Thursday. Okay. Yeah, right. we might have on, on normal world, we might have a little 
Ooh. Surprise guest appearance. Well, I mean, he just said his name. So. Well, I wasn't talking <laughs> about. I wasn't talking about him. Oh yeah. No, no it's no, not me. No, we <laughs> yeah, they've already had me on twice. They're never gonna ask me back. In yeah. Miami ever again. <laughs> It's like Protect old news. everyone's hair from if you know, you know. <laughs> you know, I you do. Know. I'm excited. Yeah. Hey, I love okay. normal, dude. Normal world is it's so fantastic. You guys are killing it. Thank you. Yeah, you Thank and you. Landau are fantastic together. I I don't often go to YouTube to like watch something. You know, just, oh, like when we're doing research, maybe. But like, normal really? world is one of those. I things watch where... YouTube like a fucking like it's crack. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but but it's Gary's like, always what what will I find? Yeah. You know, what what's I find gonna, all like, kinds of entertainment. I find like yeah, but great the, no, no. Live there's streams. a difference between stumbling upon stuff and like finding fun stuff. But like, I specifically go watch normal world. Well, I hope so. That's what I do too. Uh, I, I yeah. specifically I don't watch go anyone else's shit. Just no. I support. <laughs> I support. <laughs> I watch your shit. I watch uh, yeah. everybody's I stuff. I, I was watch watching X-ray your, Girl of, on a video game stream. I don't give a shit about the video game. I support my friends. Aww. I'm the only I one. I do obviously. that too, but you know, whatever. I'm better than you. <laughs> Damn. I'm better than you. Oh, that's what it was. It was jealousy. Okay, that's, that's all. That makes more. That's all. That makes more sense. Okay. Uh, Adam, what do you got coming up? <laughs> uh, well, I've got my daily show back up and running. It's been really fun. I I miss yeah. being able to just have this free flow co- stream of consciousness style of reporting on things that go down. Uh, so that that's back up and running Friday nights. I actually did a fr- uh, jam night on my locals where I actually sent an invite code to StreamYard to my supporters and I actually get, like hung out with some people uh, on stream. Mm. It was really cool. And I played some music and kind of hung out with some of the people that's been supporting me. So that was a lot of fun. But base F Monday, of course, is tomorrow. And then Wednesdays, I joined side scrollers over on the side scrollers podcast. And that's a lot of fun. And. Yeah, look forward to my segments. If you guys could go share those when you see them. I don't think I'm going to do all of the segments, just the ones that I feel would make good videos. Like I did, oh. I actually went and took a, a snip out of my interview with Robert Barnes a couple months ago. Yeah. And he he breaks down what is going on in Ukraine, going back decades through like what the CIA has done mm. to creating the situation, what it is, why, why they were trying to poke Russia into attack. And it, it's just... It's such a fantastic breakdown. Like it was nagging me in the back of my head that like I needed to give this to the world because Robert Barnes is a freaking, he's a freaking goat. So yeah. uh, definitely go check out that video. That's it's really good. Love it. Robert Barnes is good dude. Yeah. Fucking smart as hell. But yeah. Like good yeah, he dude. Is. Glad he's on our side. <laughs> yeah. Same. Yeah. That. A lot of the lock two people. Glad oh, he my uses goodness. his powers for good. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Exit goo. What you got coming up? I got so much stuff coming up. Um, So we're going to be doing a review on Doctor Who episodes um, Rise. Oh, I know. The Girl in the Fireplace, Rise of the Cybermen, and The Age of Steel on my channel this week, 6 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Time, um, with ZS. That'll be fun. Uh, And on Tuesday, we're going to have Shadowversity on Poor Choices to talk about relationships marriage and he's been talking a lot about inspiring young men so i am very interested to see what he has what to does say. he know about relationships he's only been in one <laughs> you only need one and she's <laughs> lovely and All she's right. great she's actually really lovely I she's love so awesome so she's great yeah. i'm kidding people yeah I'm kidding. So, uh, <laughs> okay. so it, and that'll be 8 p.m eastern on tuesday on Portugal. uh so. if i'm done recording which i probably won't be but if i'm done recording in time i'll join you mm-hmm. and uh definitely talk about those three i love those three episodes so much mm-hmm. uh did you see the trailer uh for, for the, the 60th next an- 60th okay. anniversary no maybe we should do that dropped on- yesterday well, well, like well, i'm it- gonna i'm gonna actually do a reaction video tonight on it for nerd oh. daily oh, oh the who or not Doctor Who, uh, yeah, Doctor they Who. dropped they dropped a 60th anniversary trailer uh, yesterday. Cool. And I noticed that their previous trailer, real quick before we go, uh, which came out about a year ago, half a year ago, hasn't even hit a million views. Oh. And it's a fe- it's featured on the Doctor Who YouTube that has about 1.75 million subscribers. Wow. And it didn't it's only it didn't hit a million views. It's not good. That is not fucking good. That's David Tennant is back. Yeah. And Catherine Tate as as Donna Noble. 
and it didn't hit a million million views. That's that's fucking that's bad. That's pretty bad because I mean, yeah. in four episodes, I like love David Tennant. Oh, he's great, and when you get to Donna, she's fucking great. Donna's a great, great companion. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. All right, uh, I've got a video coming out. We'll leave it at that. We'll let Adam go to bed. I want to thank everyone uh, for joining us tonight. This is uh, uh, the show is nothing but joy to do, and I love hanging out with these people and seeing them uh, in person was great. That little picture we have in front of that archway or in front of the building. I will treasure oh, yeah, that. That, great. that should actually be on our thumbnail somewhere. Uh, so we'll be back <laughs> next week. Same bad time. In the meantime, be well. Nerdorotic.com. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier.